We fucking live yet. All right, we're live. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Saturday Night uh, Red Cup Review Live. If you are new to this channel, check this out. Go to Facebook Official Red Cup Review The Rebellion. Also remember to uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't be a hanger-on. Come and join the click. Tonight we are joined with Baz, and it's been a while. Kyle is back with us. Oh. What's hey, going guys. on? How are you? Good to have you guys back. Good to have you here. We are going live on this Saturday night because it's Toy Fair weekend. So welcome to the Toy Fair show. And we're going to talk all things Toy Fair. We're going to start off uh, going clockwise. We're going to go with Baz. We're going to start with, uh, you know, pickups of the week. So Baz, take it away. Pickups of the week. I continue to pick up absolutely nothing because I'm trying to save money and not be a piece of shit and waste money on toys. But I did open up this guy. Uh, nice. Gordon. So I got Gordon with his piece ready. You know, put some Only, holes in some yeah. fucking perps. And uh, Only Joe can make Commissioner Gordon a cool, worthwhile purchase. Only uh, what? If anybody else made Gordon, everyone would pass on it. But because Mezco did it, like they're the only people who I think could actually make him a worthwhile purchase. No, well, yeah, he, he comes with the the friggin' uh, what you call it, the, the bat signal, which is cool. Yeah, I got it oh. too. The Etolf. But uh, I I had kept it in the box for so long that when I went to put the batteries in, the batteries were fucking dead. So uh, I haven't <laughs> I haven't used it yet. But uh, your, uh, so what were your first impressions of Gordon? I, I love him. He's great. It's it's like he would he would like hold together like he would be like the centerpiece of like a whole bat family type of uh, display. You know, you put him like in the background with with the with the, uh, the bat signal, and then you branch out all the other characters from that. That's how I would I would do it. You're literally describing the detail I have in my house. See, <laughs> see, <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, he's cool. Awesome. I'm glad that you finally opened him up and are enjoying him. All right, Kyle, what do you got for us, buddy? Uh, so for work, I'm working on a small indie brand known as uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And so in order to yeah. do stuff, I have been picking up all of Hasbro's lightning collection that I can get of MMPR, as the fans call it. So here's Red Ranger, White Ranger. My girl got me Pink Ranger for Valentine's Day. Very appropriate. Nice. Uh, Green Ranger, Putties, Lone Ranger, or Zed, Lone Ranger, <laughs> Hermione Granger, Black Ranger, and then uh, Goldar here. I just picked up at GameStop on the way back. He was on clearance, and he's a, he's a dope figure. I don't know why he's on clearance. More people should pick this guy up for twenty bucks. Like, look at all this stuff you get. You know, so. he's an exclusive too. I think at GameStop. Okay. Yeah. Sense. Uh, I did see that they announced the Lord Zed Rita Repulso 25th wedding anniversary two pack, which is pretty hilarious. Uh, it comes with like a cake that looks like it's made out of mercury and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. So I've, I've been enjoying getting back into it because I was a big Power Rangers kid because uh, my parents would never let me watch it because they thought it was too violent. Uh, but I would go, to, I would sneak over to my cousin's house and watch it anyway. So um, Night Ranger, not a bad idea. Uh, your, your, your parents didn't want you to watch Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? Mm -hmm. oh they thought it was too violent, and now I'm making the toys. So who's laughing now? <laughs> <laughs> you got to get, uh, you gotta get more to uh, Dracon. <laughs> Dracon is – I, I, I got to find them. I, my, my only thing is that I'm not, like, ordering any of these. I'm finding these in the wild. That's my oh, okay. hunt part of this. That's cool. So that's awesome. they're gifted. To I mean, shit, you got the entire run of the, the Power Rangers. That's pretty friggin' awesome, practically. Almost all of it. Yeah, I've been I've been pretty lucky, but working in the toy biz has its benefits. Nice. So, uh, you you got to get Yellow next too. Also, she's I think she's coming out in the next wave. Yeah, Trini. So, Trini. Yeah, yeah. I've been yeah. waiting. To, like, go hit the stores, see when they start landing. All right. Uh, is my audio still low, guys? In the chat, let me know. I I just raised the audio on my mic. I'm going to take it away from my pickups of the week, or not necessarily pickups, but it was my birthday last weekend. Last Friday was uh, a happy birthday to me, so I got some pretty happy cool birthday, stuff. Man. Thanks, man. Thank you very much, and thanks to everybody in the chat. Pretty much wish me a happy birthday. It was very nice of you guys. How old are you? 38. 
Oh shit! Hey, how's it feel to be able to vote finally? <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, all right, here we go. All right, so they hear me now. Okay, uh, I'm gonna zoom in here. This is obviously the latest review I just did. The Hal Jordan Green Lantern from Mezco. Six day. Woo! No, oh, this is this is bad. You get you didn't get yours yet, right? No, nah, I'm fucking every every time the postman pull, pulls up, I run to the door and I'm like, "Is it the day?" No. Oh, this thing is. This is a really, really, really nice figure, guys. Uh, quick, if you guys haven't tuned into the review, you should definitely do so, do so. But to give you guys a little bit of an idea of quick, like he doesn't have much of an ab crunch, but he goes all the way back, man. So you could do something like this, where you could have him kind of like flying on the stand and so, uh, looking like straight ahead. You know what I'm saying? That's really that's dope. He's basically horizontal right here, and he can look straight ahead. So that's that's mm -hmm. really freaking cool. So we got him. So go check out that review. Uh, my brother, Mr. Frank Castle, for my birthday, picked me up this little set. And I thought this was really uh, cool. He always does something uh, eclectic and kind of off the beaten path. He got me these Ghostbuster um, ounces of silver. But huh. they're like special yeah. with Ghostbusters ounces of silver, right? So here's what they look like. Here's the Slimer. And this is like first day of issue, I guess, uh, versions. So oh, there's silver cool. ounces with... The Ghostbuster logo, you got the queen on the back. You know, God save the queen, right? So you got that one. You got one with the four Ghostbusters on it. Mm -hmm. Right? That's dope. And this one's my favorite just because I love the colors. You got the Stay Puft. Cool. Like, actually walking down like and, and crushing the uh, – right before he crushes the church, which is – what's really dope about this is uh, you guys know I'm like a San New York City sanitation worker. I've actually picked up this building right here. I've actually picked up their garbage multiple times. <laughs> and did the basket on that corner. So every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, shit. Like, that's pretty, cool. pretty close to home. So we got that. And last but not least, I did a review with this last week, but we're counting it for pickup this week since I didn't do the show last week. And it's funny we have Kyle on the show because we got this beauty in. Oh, Everybody wow. in the chat, this was actually created by Kyle. That's right. The creator of this with us here tonight. This is a Cryptozoic statue. Kyle doesn't work for Cryptozoic. But this is a Cryptozoic Not statue. Not anymore. Not anymore, but it's it's a gorgeous Wonder Woman statue. It is obviously modeled after the Venus de Milo. Go and check out my review on this. Um, what's awesome about this is that if you're not necessarily a statue person, it's actually a very uh, reasonably pretty priced. It's 150 bucks. And you, put, you pair this with your Mezco Classic Wonder Woman or the Wonder Woman that's coming out soon, and it's going to look amazing you guys got to go check out my photos on that it's like the perfect add-on piece a guy actually commented saying that if you if you took that statue and paired it with the wonder woman and then put like a couple like got like uh some greek columns to put around it it would make like a crazy ass diorama for yeah. wonder woman figure so definitely go and check that out okay Thanks. we're gonna um we're going to do a quick shout out to everybody that's in the chat. If I miss you, sorry. Jay Belk, what's happening? CM Brock, KJ Smith, how's it going? Duck Collector, haven't seen you in a while. What's going on, Playa? B Rivera, I've never seen you before. So, hey, thanks for joining us. Um, let's see who else is in here. I know Edwin Diaz was in here. Josh Drake, Danny Lee, the All Stars. I don't think I mentioned CM Brock. He's with us too. Michael B, yo, what's up, man? DC, love in the house. Uh, Mike B runs the uh, DC Collectors page on Facebook, oh, and yeah. Black Hammer. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. What's up, guys? Okay. Uh, now we're going to get on with the actual show and talking about Toy Fair, finally. So we're going to do a, we're gonna get right into the screen share. We're going to just go down the list. If there's anything you guys would like us to talk about or look at, uh, let us know. We are going to start with my favorite reveal of the con. And it's something we've been waiting for for a hundred freaking years, and that is the GI Joe yeah. line from Hasbro. Now let's do a click on here because I got some nice updated photos here. This is the six-inch GI Joe classified series line, and I am so stoked for this. Huh. And I listened to their live stream today, and I got some up. You know, if you guys didn't see their live stream, I could tell you like what their presentation was about and why the characters look the way they do and not necessarily like their classic counterparts that we would, that we were like, Oh, a lot of people will complain and we want the classics. There's a reason why we're not getting the classics perhaps yet. The person on the live stream said that 
they're uh they're the way that gi joe was brought from the 70s or the late 60s into the 80s when they updated the the cartoon the cartoon and they wanted to update the figures for the 80s they're now re-updating them again for an for another generation so this is a pseudo reimagining with shout outs to the past. So for those of us that want our classic GI Joes in six inch scale, that's not happening. You're getting, they're just rebranding the line. They're going to take inspiration from renegades. They're going to be taking inspiration from the classics and then updating this stuff as well. I got a conversation with, I think Danny Lee earlier today on Facebook. And he was like, well, where are like, why their weapons look the way they do and why they have like futuristic body armor and stuff like that. We were talking back and forth. That's basically because, if I had to guess, and Kyle, you might be able to back me up on this or debunk it. Mm. They don't want to promote realistic weapons in toys uh, that are ages four and above. So you're yeah. not getting like M16s and, and stuff like that. Yeah, there's a, little, there's a little bit of that. And I think it depends on the licensor specifically. But also, it's fucking G.I. Joe, so you have to have guns. Right. Well, I noticed that Duke actually has Duke has a uh, like it looks like a, a submachine gun slash grenade launcher looking thing, and his um, but the front of the uh, front of it looks like a laser rifle, mm -hmm. so it's like an M sixteen but with a laser rifle cannon. You know, yeah, they always add like a dash of color somewhere. Yeah, as soon as it's lasers, it's not it's not real weapons, so it doesn't matter. Right, and they had lasers in the cartoons. That doesn't bother me that much. G.I. Joe was always kind of futuristic, sort of. The movie had, like, all those futuristic things in it and shit. So I'm cool with that. I think that Duke looks – I think he looks great. Baz, what do you think? Were you happy with the yeah, Duke reveal? Looks, yeah, it looks like classic Duke enough to make for me, so. Yeah, man, I, I, I really – I can't zoom in on this anymore, guys. I'm sorry, but uh, I think great. it looks great. The colors look great. He's got rock. Maybe the haircut, he could have had like more of like a crew cut type thing, like a flat top. Right. Yeah. Well, this yeah. is more of like a mod. See how they're doing like that modern hairstyle type thing? This is almost like Kyle's hair, except he has a little bit more on the side. It's not as shaved. Okay, so <laughs> it's because all my gray's on the side. That's why I keep it so close. <laughs> so, uh, and I, I love the, they were talking about like the, the inspired art on the sides of the packaging and stuff, but they're going, what they, one thing they're trying to do is they're trying to allow all of their stuff, all of their, the, the equipment that comes with them, like their, their guns, their, their handguns, their, the binoculars, like back here, you can see Duke's binoculars. They want to be able to attach as many of the things to the characters themselves so they can actually hold all their gear. That's cool. So I thought that was pretty dope. So this is going to be like a little peg on the back of his belt to hold his binoculars and stuff. And it looks like he's got the double-jointed elbows and knees. The articulation, on, on at least on the snake eyes, looks friggin' out of this world. And here's another look at Duke, a little bit more up close. I don't know. He's got like, you know, D Duke, you need like strong jaw, generic white guy face, and the, and the color of the outfit is there. So to me, it's, it's thumbs up, you know. That's yeah. like... That's Duke, pretty much. Now, Scarlet, um, people were complaining. They were saying that these look too much like Fortnite figures. I don't know. I think she looks fine. She has the little uh, the little shirkins on the side of her wrist here, which, and she has her crossbow, and the, the hair is the right color. So, you know, I'm down. The knife, obviously, is removable here, which is pretty cool. As long as it reads like Scarlet, that's that's probably what they were going for. Like, there's, you know, the color scheme, the red hair, the crossbow. Like, there's, you know... They're probably trying to boil it down to what are the what are the elements that are scarlet, you know, like the, the the gold and the blue, the red hair, the crossbow, and then how do we take that into the next step? Because you want it to have those st those same elements, so it still feels like scarlet while also feeling fresh and new. And that's why do why do companies find the need to do that? Why do they have to update? And give us like these newer iterations and stuff like that, as opposed to just we're all in our thirties and forties now. We want. The classics. Why aren't we getting the classics, so to speak? Because it's not just for you. Well, there you go. No, no be, this is why you're fucking here, man. You know, lay it on me. You know, yeah. let us know. You know, the you know you have to make it cool enough. Like, if, yeah, it probably looks like Fortnite kid, like these Fortnite figures a little bit because Fortnite is a huge, huge deal, and kid Fortnite figures are selling like crazy. It's sadly not going away, so you might as well embrace it and continue to make money while also like servicing these fans that have been around with an IP that they know. 
But the reality is, is that it actually is just for us because uh, I had somebody in in one of the, uh, what you call it, Facebook pages I go to talk about like how this is toys for boomers. Um, (laughs) 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 So the people that are buying Fortnite are just- We're not even boomers. Exactly. (laughs) My mother's a boomer for Christ's sake. She's almost 70. (laughs) Yeah, so it, it- demographic that's going to buy these toys are going to be our age. You know, oh. they're, they're trying to, to catch a younger audience, but sure. They're, they're trying to catch a, a, a younger audience, but at the same time, like, yes, they're changing these designs, but Rob said in the very beginning of this, I'm stoked for this. I'm going to pick all these up. Yeah. Even they're though- buying them no matter what, they got to make sure they got more sales on the next generation. Yeah, Exactly. You know, I'm buying. I already uh, told my sponsor. I was. I told the lair. I was like, uh, figure out a way to order me the whole case. I don't give a shit. I yeah. want all of them. There's enough of them that I like. I wasn't that crazy about Roblox, and I saw some other pictures on them, and I'm I'm coming around to him. I hate his weapon. I well, in- look at look at the comment from Danny Lee. That's the big deal. Is that freaking weird laser? It just doesn't look right. Yeah, exactly. That's the, the laser thing. That's kind of pretty stupid. But uh, he also Scarlet. Yeah, Dan Lee also mentions that Scarlet even has freckles. She does. So I thought that was kind of cool too. Nice little yeah. ad. And take a look at these rocker ankles, bro. So she's gonna be able to stand flat, straight up. They're obviously coming with these little, you know, posable stands too, which is nice. She's got the crossbow bolts on the back. I don't know. I'm in on this, man. It looks like they're learning a lot from these like lightning collection figures because the ankle rockers on these guys are nuts. Yeah. So I've been really impressed with these as well. How come he doesn't look like The Rock? <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> this so is actually said. based on people that were, were bitching about this not being like Roblox outfit. It's actually an inspiration off of his version 2 outfit. So I think that figure was released in like 80... Well, the first wave was 84, 83 or 84. I think this was like the 87 version of Roblox. Where he had like a, his vest was actually more of like a light gray or like a really light green. So this is, here you go. Here's your updated version. And the knife comes out and all that other stuff. So what's great about these is that they're six inches, guys. So you got other realistic weapons out there from companies like Mezco that do make adult collectibles. So you can probably use like the Gatlin gun from the Punisher figure for your, uh, for your road. Yeah. Here, you know, and then bang, you got him holding a Gatlin gun. You know what I'm saying? Let's start. Let's use a little bit of ingenuity here. It actually did just dawned on me before, but whatever. <laughs> he's got his tattoo on his arm, so that looks pretty cool. So he's growing on me a little bit. But obviously, the, the best of the best is, um, in my opinion, the Snake Eyes. I mean, to yeah. get him wrong would have been a, a travesty. He looks outrageous. One guy was actually complaining, why does he have pants like that? Why is he in full, uh, the full black uh, singlet? And my best guess is not only do, are they looking for, obviously, the updated design, which is why they gave them the multicolors, but it's going to be a lot easier probably for them to do the um, the alternate snake eyes when he has the goggles. So And he's more in like a tactical uniform, so they probably use like the legs from this and maybe a, a little bit different uh, torso add-on and obviously the different head sculpt and you have your updated snake eyes. Uh, can, you, can you scroll back to the Duke real quick? Can you see what Duke's pants look like? Yeah, scroll down. Okay. I'm wondering if those thigh, like those upper thigh parts might be the same as yeah. the Snake Eye ones. Because, I mean, a brand new line like that, all this new tooling, like there's going to be some shared costs across. Well, that's what, I, that's what I didn't, I would, would kind of like, um, I'm stuttering like a son of a bitch here. What, what I kind of <laughs> thought was a little weird was that like your first wave is, is Duke, right? You got Duke, Scarlet, Roadblock, Snake Eyes, and Destro. And I was, I was for sure, if I had to place money on this, that they were going to come out with a Cobra officer in the first wave at least because that that's just like tooling for days and variations, you know? Yeah. So I, I figured they would have been able to save costs on that, but shit, I mean, they, uh, they you know, this is what you got, and, and I don't know, man. I'm, I'm digging the, the hell out of this. I, I, don't, I don't mind it at all. I think I would at least pick up the Snake Eyes for sure. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not a big G.I. Joe guy, but that guy – He's always in the coolest. Yeah, everyone loves Snake Eyes, right? It's like even if you don't like G.I. Joe, you love Snake Eyes. So uh, Scarlet's kind of growing on me too. You know, the um and and also Snake Eyes will have his own pack. He'll be coming like as a single figure too. So you don't have to buy that 
forty dollar exclusive version with the extra accessories and all that bullshit. That's I know, but I kind of want it too. I know. <laughs> Any information on when the uh, the whole wave goes up for for pre order? I think it's next week. Within like like I I think it's within this week. Here I think they're going to be putting them up. They're all they're, and they're launching in July, so they'll be out in July, middle of the summer. And the reason why that that's I don't want to say the reason why they're doing that, but it's pretty obvious that because the Snake Eyes movie drops in I think October, that this is like the 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 kind of the gear up for that, you know. And they have that new mobile app I was just playing before we went live. So it's kind of like in the public consciousness zeitgeist, you know. So you got the, the mobile game, then you have the toys, and then the movie. So uh, I don't know. Guys in the chat, what do you think? Let's see. Roblox, I have to find a scale 50 caliber for him to carry, though. Yeah, okay, definitely. I think Snake Eyes will go up. Okay. That, uh, Snake Eyes is a ninja. That's enough of a reason to get him. Yeah, pretty much. Aircraft carrier, let's do it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> What no. was, what was, <laughs> a modern aircraft carrier that thing was like five hundred dollars in like eighty five. <laughs> eighty five would probably make it two thousand dollars now. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. also seven and a half feet long. So like, people who bitch about Super Seven making that fucking Snake Mountain, right. that's like seven hundred dollars and only three feet long. Like, get out of here. Like, not possible. <laughs> Yeah, it's absolutely, absolutely crazy. All right, enough GI Joe. I love the GI Joe reveals. I'm down. This is I'm getting the whole fucking line, and I'll be reviewing that for everybody. Baz, what do you think? You getting uh, any of the GI Joes right off the bat? Of course. I mean, you used to talk about this like years ago about uh, we want a GI Joe to to get a six inch line, and so it's it's finally happening. So yeah, of course. Yeah, if I only get wave one, I, I'm good. You know, well, they say a lot of people in the audience were asking them, like, yo, where's Destro? And they're like, oh, we're not showing them. And it's like, like, uh, it got it got a couple of boos and a couple of like, oh, like, what do you mean you're not showing them? Like, you know, so well, it's like, they're probably just not ready. Like something happened with a prototype or something. And they just, yeah, I'm sure that's usually that's usually the case. Right. So. But uh, all right. So we're doing that badge. You got something to share. We're going to pull it up on your screen now. And okay, now you take it away. All right, we're going to take a look at some of the, the Hasbro Marvel Legends that they uh, showcased. Uh, this is uh, Nimrod. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I love that they did a Nimrod. I do not like the head sculpt on that. I think it's way too cartoony, but I, I do like that they're doing it, though. Is this a Build-A-Figure? It's got to be, right? I would guess so. He's pretty big. They showed him next to like some of the other figures. He's much bigger. Now, this over here, we have Old Man Hawkeye. That's pretty cool. Um, little uh, niche, but it looks like they're doing everybody pretty much. So, and you got old uh, their version of Old Man Logan with the uh, little Hulk baby. That's pretty fun, actually. He's got a he, he's got a Hugh Jackman like face uh, over there. Well, that's good. But uh, I have the uh, the what you call it the uh, Mezco version. Mm. And there you got uh, the movie version of uh, of Wolverine. Oh, looks like Wolverine. from the Wolverine, the movie. That looks great. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it looks like him. It looks like snarling a snarling face. Blades. So blades have always been weird on Wolverine figures. I like that they're actually shaping it instead of them just being like little toothpicks that come out. See what I'm yeah. saying? Mention yeah. Like I hate when they bend. You know, you get all you, warped and shit in the packaging, right? Yeah. He, he also comes, it looks like he comes with a set of, uh, what you call it, uh, bone blades, too. Oh, cool. Yeah, I see it. That's cool. I never really liked it. Well, I mean, it's the movie version, but I never liked Wolverines with the with the bone claws, man. I like Wolverine, Wolverine, you know? Yeah. Oh, whatever. So we got an updated Rogue. That's oh, cool. Modern Rogue. That's a good looking figure. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I like that. If they're going to update, my favorite rogue is the 90s rogue, but this is cool too. I didn't mind this outfit. I thought it was pretty dope when she started wearing it. Mm -hmm. That 90s rogue figure goes for like 70 bucks. Jesus Christ. I saw so many of her. Oh, man. That's, that's First, actually my favorite storm outfit. Yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's storm. That's a great storm. Yeah. First appearance storm. This is going to be a Target exclusive. Hmm. That's which, a really nice Which is fun. That face yeah, Really, really nice. Yeah, it's on point, man. 
Yeah, yeah. Point. I was actually going to start off the video being Mr. De Debbie Downer and saying that I was totally not impressed really with most of the things at this con, with the exception of like a handful of things. And then all this shit started coming out while I was eating dinner. And I was like, damn, damn, <laughs> damn. <Yeah. laughs> like, this, this is making me want to get into Marvel Legends again. I haven't done that in forever. And yeah. after, so now we so. have a, a Deadpool movie, uh, uh, James Brolin uh, cable. Nice. Nice. You, you got a Ryan oh. Reynolds cable. Oh. I mean, uh, Deadpool. <laughs> Deadpool. That also looks great. Dang, man. And we got uh, Domino. No. Also looking good. The Marvel Legends is really stepping their their game up. I got to be honest. I don't collect Marvel Legends no more, but they really are really went from being like uh, when when what is this? Who does Marvel Legends now? Hasbro. Hasbro, Hasbro right? When they first took over Marvel Legends from Toy Biz, they were garbage for yeah. like four years. They were bad. It took them a while. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh, this isn't so bad. This is like now year after year, it seems like they're really just, you know, knocking it out of the park. Yeah. Mm -hmm. te teenage Negasonic Warhead. Nice. <laughs> a figure I never thought would get made. Oh, man. Yeah. We got uh, Movie Magneto. Uh, what's his name? Fastbender. Fastbender. Nice. Oh, is that a mystique I see back there? And we got James McAvoy, Professor X. Bit of a miss. Yeah, yeah. it kind of looks like him, but uh, yeah. yeah. Is Professor is uh, that's good. Patrick will, Stewart? That's the one everyone will display it with, anyways. Yeah, that's good. That's actually pretty damn for a six-inch figure. That's pretty fucking good. What are they using? Like the space scan bullshit now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh wow! Look at that McKellen skull. That looks good. Not bad at all. And there she is. There's Mystique, Rebecca yeah. Romaine Stamos. Mystique. Very nice. Nice boobies. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like a blue nude blue chick. <laughs> yeah, they'll still cost twenty bucks. Um, um, this is the uh, what you call old school uh, Black Widow. With That's the jetpack. That's cool. I like That's that. Black Widow. There she is, the White That's Widow. Nice. That's not bad either, man. Holy shit. That's the comic one? That's not the movie one, right? No, nah, it's the yeah. comic one. Is it the comic one? Yeah. It's gotta be, man. Yeah, the big pop collar gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the movie. Okay, there's the movie one. Yeah, yeah. God, that looks good, wow. too. I'm excited for that movie. Oh, that looks amazing. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, and the, that Red Guardian in the back. Oh, there he is. Yeah, that's what's up. Nice. <laughs> These look good, man. I'm uh, shit. Like I gotta like you know. I think Hasbro might have won the con this year as far as like um, Black the Tom that are like up. Oh, wow. Wow. That's nice that you finally get a Black Tom. That's cool. That is cool. As far as like the bigger companies, like if you were to talk about like uh, Hasbro, uh, Mezco, and like. NECA and and uh, uh, what um, Mattel, Matt, fucking Mattel shit the bed. I think yeah. Hasbro's got it as far as the big companies go. That's this a, is a nice Red Hulk. Shit. Really good looking Hulk figure. That Dang. is nice. It'd be nice to get that in green. Shit, I haven't even seen a good a good green Hulk light that looks that good. It's been a while since there's been a good Hulk figure. This is Sunspot. Cool. I like that they're doing the old X Force guys. They did Sunspot, and I got the Warpath behind them. That's dope. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's Movie Taskmaster? Yes. Hey, let me ask you guys this. Do you guys think that Taskmaster is going to be like like, like one of her sisters or something? Like it's going to be some reveal at the end of the movie where they pull the mask off. It's going to be some bullshit <laughs> twist. Oh, God. Don't poison yeah. my mind with that. I yeah. hope not. I'm tempted to think that it's Hawkeye. Oh, okay. Hey, it's Guido. Man. Oh, wow. Charlie Brown on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> so cool that they're getting some of these figures, but there's also some things that shouldn't have been made. <laughs> oh, Warpath. Oh, wow. That's cool. I wonder, I wonder if Warpath. he's uh, related like, to, uh, I wonder if he's in the same tribe as Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. We don't want to get scroll. Oh, oh, oh. Scroll. <laughs> You got Maverick. Oh. That's fun. Oh, wow. 
It's cool. Blast from the past there. He looks all right. They, they kind of did a little bit like washing the orange there. Congrats to Rob Liefeld. All of his characters are getting action figures. Oh, he loves it. He's fucking loving this shit. <laughs> And we got a uh, a writer, uh, Punisher, with a, a bike. Oh, I like that. That looks good. He's got a baseball bat and a machete. How ethnic can you be? Shit. I'll at least get it for a bike. That's <laughs> pretty awesome. You know, not for nothing, yeah. It's like a, a good idea. Now that they're doing like regular motorcycles and shit for this, if you wanted a motorcycle for like, let's say, your um, your Mezco Captain America or something like that, if you're into high-end shit, you pick up one of these and you, you kind of use the interchangeable parts and stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, we got crossbones. Nice. We got sh- shitty figure spy master. Nobody's gonna buy peg warmer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know who the hell that is. There, is. there are three people who are super stoked for that. And there's got- oh, Gamerverse. Here oh, you go. Here you go, this Rob. This is the Square Enix game version. This looks like generic fucking squat squ- squ- member. <laughs> like- I was talking to I was talking to my buddy about this game. Like, because they just dropped the trailer for like the new Avengers game that this is from a couple days ago, and it just looks so okay. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, And like, my biggest problem is like the costumes. Like, I know that they're supposed to be like comic based, like comic fusing comic books and like real, like real, like armor and shit, but like. They did that in the movie just fine. <laughs> I know they did it in the movie just fine. It might be better and just like all of, like what I just I described the all these costumes from this game as like the porn parody versions. <laughs> <laughs> it's like porn home Avengers. <laughs> yeah, it just like no, oh, this is this is uh, I Ron Man. <laughs> Plastic man, more like <laughs> all all Iron Man's uh, Hasbro figures look look like they're they're plastic. It's just like it doesn't work. Well, no, the, the one it's they are plastic. Man. Yeah, the 80th anniversary, whatever it was, uh-huh. it was was pretty good. Baz, the Alex Ross version was probably like one of the better ones. No, ever. you're right. Yeah, okay, there you go. They, well, right. Scroll, scroll, get the fuck out of here. Scroll. Now that's that that would be an interesting hand job, right? <laughs> There you go. Making me regret my comments. Ooh. <laughs> okay, this is actually a cool. I think this is a game reverse abomination. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. actually cool. That would make an excellent killer croc figure. Yes. Yes, <laughs> it would. Good fucking call, man. Not bad. Okay, I definitely want this, Captain Marvel. That's cool. Oh, that's fun. He's awesome. Oh, is that mastermind behind him? That's the one I had said out of all these figures, the leader. It was fucking. Oh, leader. Cool. Sorry. Thank you. I can't remember that guy's name. Mastermind of the movie with fucking Will Ferrell in it. Sorry. <laughs> Leader. Yes. That's Mach 5, I believe his name is. Okay. He was with the uh, Thunderbolts. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Crickets. Oh, so okay. Abomination is the, uh, the bell figure. Okay, got it. And this is Rage. Who? Is, he, is he a new warrior? Rage. His, his name is Rage. Uh, whatever. Okay, cool. Yeah. He's just <laughs> angry and he's got a leather vest. Okay, so we got Iron Man like, 2020. I don't like this this outfit what? at all. Iron Man 2020 cool. designed in 1945. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Does he have like a cat mouth? Is that what <laughs> Wait, Who's this? Oh, this is Rhodey. He's got oh, the uh, looks like the Black ca- Doctor Strange. <laughs> no, I like that head sculpt. That's good. He's got like the cameo haircut from the eighties. Mm-hmm. This is cool. The, the the this war machine looks pretty cool. Old school. Oh, old school. Old school. That's cool. That is dope. I like that. Oh, uh, nice. The attachments. The attachments are cool as hell. I I had the original Toy Biz one that looked like that. That had all the attachments and shit. It was yeah. One of my favorite figures. That's pretty cool. Yeah, no, look, that looks good. Oh, more Venom. Yay. Oh, whatever. <laughs> just click. Just keep, come on. We have like 30 other fucking things to get through. We're already 40 oh, minutes. Venom, that's cool. This is oh, like a Venom, like Venom, Venom wave. Line? Venom's get like everything has to be Venomized now? Yeah, it played out. All right, this <laughs> is the uh, Spider-Man retro wave, which is kind of cool. Oh, that's yeah, cool. I like the card backs. You got the cool card backs. Which is that Gwen just... Stacy? Yeah. You got Gwen Stacy and also the second head is Mary Jane. Oh, dude. 
I like that. I like that a lot. Yo, get it. Come on, we gotta see a picture of the actual. This is Gwen Stacy. Oh wow! You know what's? I just my my mind just went to a very dark place with the Gwen Stacy figure. You, uh, you have her hanging. Yeah, yeah. have her hanging. Yeah. Yep. When you're when you're doing when you, when when you're you're quality testing figures in order to like ship them across the the sea on the boat and whatever, um, they they do this thing called the drop test, which they, <laughs> they, they will take the box of figures and they will drop it six times in random assortment and like it to make sure it hits in every different angle and then they will open it up and make sure like see what pops off and see what up so i just imagine this like these guys who are just like <laughs> of course stacy figures <laughs> like that the only thing is, like, the, uh, you know, if you buy two of them and you put Mary Jane's head on one of them, they're going to be wearing the same outfit. And, you know, girls will not – they would not have that. That would not be realistic. They would, they would have a fight. They'd be, like, they'd be like, bitch, you're taking that off now. I wore it first. Stacy wouldn't be caught dead wearing the same outfit as Mary Jane. There you go. All right, so this is uh, Evil Beast. This is the uh, Apocalypse, uh, Age of Apocalypse wave. <laughs> That's, That's cool. cool. I like that they did DARPA. This is cool. I always like this version of Morph. The Morph Mad Cat awesome. version of Morph. Okay, I was going to ask who that is. He was excellent in Exiles, remember? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Ooh. Great. I never liked this design of Wolverine. I always thought this was like with the with the hair like that. I was like, what the fuck did they do to him in that series? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Apocalypse. Good. Yeah. Smiling open mouth. Okay, oh, get... The Spider-Man thing. I like the Gwen Stacy figure now that I'm looking at it again. What happened? Go back. Okay, here's, here's the Peter Parker. He comes with the two heads. Ooh, I like his like all white sky captain in the world of tomorrow glasses. <laughs> <laughs> we should just turn this into the mystery science theater of Toy Fair. <laughs> Is that how they drew it in the in the Steve Dicko comics? Yeah, with the, the Coke bottles. Yeah. Jesus. You can at least see his eyes a little bit. Yeah, I wonder if those anything. are removable, if the glasses are removable. That'd I'll be cool. bet they are. And I'll bet that they cast them in clear after this show, because everyone knows that we we here are the Illuminati of the toy world and have huge influence. <laughs> Who's this, this guy, Sugar Man? What's his what deal? At here? He was one of uh, the horsemen of Apocalypse in the Age of Apocalypse. I'm a Sugar Man. Come to Daddy. He's like the boogeyman, kind of. Mm. Sugar Daddy. <laughs> it's a cool Jean Grey. Yeah, that is cool. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, she looks yeah I mean, I, you got to be a fan of the uh, the you know the Age of Apocalypse. That I I always like the the tattoo on her face and the punk rock hair. I thought it was pretty cool. She looks she looks like she's working her jazz hands. <laughs> Here's uh, X Man, who's supposed to be a uh, alternate alternate universe uh, Nathan Summers, right? Cable. Yeah. So it's Cable when he's younger, mm -hmm. without the uh, virus. The HIV virus. I mean, the uh, no, the what's the other virus? The uh, <laughs> le legacy virus. What's it called that he has? That his arm is all fucked up. <laughs> I already talking about yeah. that. Cool. That sunspot age of apocalypse, right? That's yeah, yeah. I like how they did that figure. That casting in that in that yellow with the the translucent orange sprays and stuff. That's great. Yeah, it, is cool. it is cool. That looks great. That was a great design from. That was my favorite design for sunspot too. Sugar Daddy. Don't, don't zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the retro Spider-Man. Supposed oh. to be at home. That looks. That's a good looking Spider-Man. I like those eyes. The Ramita. Cool, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's look. definitely a Ramita look. Yeah, I like it. Here we go. It's based off the show. That's the logo from the '90s show. Yeah, yeah. It, these are like throwbacks to the '90s show. Okay, cool. Updated articulation and shit. That's pretty cool. That's great. I wonder what if I could you'd be able to get this head, pop it off, and put it on the Mezco Spider Man. What it would, but the, the reds probably wouldn't match. That kind of would kind of suck. And, and it would probably be either just slightly too big or too small. Yeah. Coke bottle. Peter Parker. More sugar. <laughs> sugar daddy. Who's your sugar daddy, baby? This photographer really likes this fucking figure. <laughs> They're like he leaves him and then comes back to him. <laughs> all right, fuck this. We've seen all the guys. Uh, yeah, right, right, uh, yeah, okay, we're all done. We're all done. Oh, that old man <laughs> now. Unbelievable. 
All right. But uh, all right, so let's keep it moving here. We got like a fucking hundred other things to look at. We're gonna oh, have NECA, of... bro. What about NECA? Should I look up NECA and then? Oh, we'll uh, so yeah. Right, you look up NECA while I look at this. The, these, f... I seen people going nuts for these, and I'm like, really? Like, what the fuck are you supposed to do? <laughs> It's is just it, like a fucking uh, McDonald's toy, for Christ's sakes. I don't yeah. know. It looks like what Super 7 does, but worse. <laughs> also, is that is that uh, Slimer with his brains blown out? Like, yeah. <laughs> you just get executed. <laughs> oh, God. Right, here's the Venkman. Well, hold on. There's actually a reason why I, I want to scroll through this. This because they they got like uh, updated like the the a more adult collectible uh, mm. toy. It's like I guess like the kids oriented toys. They're all right for kids toys. I like the fact that they got the the Ecto one. It's always nice to have a, an Ecto one. They're re-releasing. They're just re-releasing these, and I think that I don't know. Like, I think this is kind of like I'm of two minds about this. It's cute. It's cool. It's nostalgic and retro, and I don't know. It's extremely fucking lazy at the same time. I don't know. I I, I, I just I like it for those who like it. I'm happy that they're getting this because it is it does remind me of being a kid. But at the same time, I don't know. Like time to move on to to new, newer updated stuff. Like yeah. in my opinion, what the hell is this? Now, all right, now we're talking. This is the build a figure for the for the updated movie uh, figures. Oh, nice. So that's pretty cool. That's good, and, and it looks like it's scale. Here's the, the. I actually think the head sculpts on these look better than uh, the, the Mezco ones. His wow. uh, his hair color is a little weird and gray, but yeah. his face looks exactly like him. I know it's cool. This is like their you know multi posable semi adult collectible versions of the Ghostbusters. So yeah, Venkman. The word adult in quotes. <laughs> this yeah I know quote quote. This is cool because I love the fact that you can make him kneel and shit. That's dope. So, you know the articulations on point. Zedmore's head sculpt's pretty on point. It's actually better than the, uh, like I said, better than the Mezco one, I think. I like those boxes, actually. The boxes yeah. are really nice. Yeah, the, I love the window packaging. I like that you got uh, Zul now uh, shooting out her uh, laser blasts, or lightning bolts, rather. Right? You got uh, Dana Barrett. Where the fuck is the... Oh, here we go. Here are the, the, the clothes. Nice. I wanted to get wow, that's... Dang. Stangler looks, yeah, Stangler looks like he's on point, man. Bengal looks on point. That's great. She looks pretty good. She looks pretty good. I think he looks good. <laughs> get it. Paycheck. <laughs> Come on. They got to show what's his face without the fucking goggles on. That's pretty cool. I always wanted a terror dog. I know we're back to fucking basics again. Well, I actually, the best looking one, which they did not take a fucking picture of, is uh, Ray. Yeah, I think mm. he has the best likeness, and they got him with the goggles on. So, yeah. Um, I guess we ain't getting that this time. So, mm -hmm. fuck. I guess. <laughs> uh, all right, bouncing. Dang, people will just pick those up for the builder figure. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. okay. Dude, you, you're dude, ready real quick. It. No, the collector said. I think this is about the sugar sugar man. He goes. He looks like Ron Jeremy. Jeremy, if he was up. the you devil. I'm sharing it. I kept putting that up every time. <laughs> I, I was I was putting that up in the in the quotations there. Mm. Oh my god! All right, let's uh, go. Super Seven. All right, we're going to go to Super 7. Let's go to Super 7. Super Duper 7. Let's see what Super 7 <laughs> going on. They're doing, uh, okay, All-Stars. I mean, like, I'm just going to focus on the shit that I like. I know we collect. Yeah. You know? I know they're trying to do, like, a big sports push lately, but I'm not sure how much of that is going to go. But they look good. They look like. The card backs are nice. I like that they do was using the old, like, the old baseball cards, like card backs, like yeah. the actual Cards themselves, that's kind of cool. Yeah, but they have like zero articulation, right? In the sports stores. I mean they're they're like that Kennery type thing. So it's supposed to feel like they're in, you know, the cantina with your original Star Wars figures. Right. Yeah. Move up and down right. like giant monster, huge Optimus Prime with right. it looks like the, the matrix is removable. That's I think it is, yeah. But that's like it looks like that's Shogun. That's probably like a Shogun Warriors thing. Right. Um, so, like, my guess is like that fist shoots off like the original Mattel Shogun Warriors and those wheels oh, that's cool. and stuff. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That's like a, like a marriage kind of. I like the marriage. And this is something I'm noticing that the, that I, I've been I've been bitching about for mad years, and I'm mm. glad that, like most toy lines are starting to do it now. I just don't think they're doing it en enough. And mm. that's like, look at the paint 
or the sticker or whatever the hell it is on the on the glass. Yeah, which makes it kind of look and like the animation style. Mm-hmm. They need like, to start oh. doing that on the entire figures now. Like Mondo mm-hmm. does it with the Batman the Animated Series 12 inch. And yeah. that made me go fucking nuts for those. Uh, like I think it was like two years ago or three years ago when they showed them off. Mm-hmm. And now I'm noticing that other companies are starting to do that with like their animated stuff, like little touches here and there. And I think that's a, a very smart move. Yeah. I agree, man. That's I like that. I like the f- I want the toy to look like the cartoon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's yeah. Cool. It's pretty dope. Well, there's there's a Moffat Spider-Man where where the uh, they painted it to look like it, it was like drawn like in a comic book with like with the, the deep black inks and the cross hatching and everything. Right, right. So, like just a really big deep like black wash in there. Oh man, SpongeBob. Yeah. There you go. I SpongeBob was like the one thing that me and my brother like ever bonded over. So like I'm I'm That's about cool. this. That's nice. That's really nice. Oh, the, I'm telling you what, this will fucking pop off the shelf. I never watched an episode of SpongeBob. My brother-in-law is like, "You got to see it. It's awesome." I think you would enjoy it. It's there. It's there's there's layers to it. It's not just for the kids. I think. Well, I was always a Ren and Stimpy fan. Is it kind of like in that kind of vein? It's got some of that. Right. Uh, that He's, Starscream is yeah. dope. Wait, wait, hold on a second. You said Starscream. Where is he? Where yeah. is he? Oh, there we go. Oh, that is pretty cool. These remind me. There were toys like this when I was a kid, where like just the legs moved up and down and the arms moved up and down, and they were like, you know, they didn't transform or anything, but like they had like uh, these battle play sets that they came with. And Action. Action. What were they? <laughs> the what? Action masters, I think. Action man, yeah, something like that, and that kind of reminds me of those. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Dang. Uh, let's see. Nice Toxic Avenger. I like just seeing shit that's like, oh, we haven't seen that in a while. Oh, we haven't yeah, seen that yeah. in a while. But that's kind of what Super 7 does, right? Yeah, this is there's not these, but there's other ones I want to look at, the Turtles that they did. Because these are more re- are these reaction looking. It, it looks like it's more like Kenner E type stuff. Yeah, yeah. There's the there are other ones though that they're doing that are um, oh man, monsters. <laughs> they're making a big comeback too. The that first was, that I that saw favorite show as a kid i dressed up as eddie for halloween in middle school and i got made fun of <laughs> <laughs> that's cool we have a butthead that's cool there you go that'd be cool to put next to those metal figures that they have i think the metal ones yeah they got like heavy metal figures too uh so like you can have like them like make fun of king diamond or whatever are they the same size are they are they that same scale yeah, right, yeah. oh nice this is cool newt <laughs> I what? like that. Um, wait, is he torn in half? Bishop is torn. Yeah, in yeah. Half? Look at that. You can see his little guts hanging out. <laughs> I'll tell you what. If you're, I've been seeing a lot of people. I'm in a re- reaction. This is my shit right here. Army of Darkness. They, there there's a reaction um, page on Facebook. Mm-hmm. And, uh, if you're into reaction figures, fucking Super Seven does everything ever. <laughs> it's like they just went out and bought every fucking license you could possibly oh, imagine. Thing. Oh, there we go. Oh, this ain't my shit. This is my shit, but this ain't my <laughs> shit. My shit's coming soon because I saw the pictures earlier. Uh, let's see. This Ooh, is cute. Yeah, I like this. I like the, this. This. Uh, this right here. Uh, the, the, this is an untapped market that a lot of the other, like the six-inch lines, just aren't doing, and it's fucking stupid. Multiposable. Yeah. Uh, classic Universal monsters, man. Mezco really fucking dropped the ball on that shit, man. Yeah. I like these card backs. I like the colors and shit, too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah, we're talking. Ooh, look at that. Now we're talking Chitara right here. And you know what's funny? I looked at these. Jaga is cool. I'm not that big of a Yaga fan. Never really was. But I'm like, oh, Chitara looks good. This Chitara fucking looks right here looks great. That's that's the one. Like, Jaga looks good. Chitara, everybody wants Chitara because you got to have the whole team. But, like, that's life, I think, is like, holy shit. He looks wow. fucking good, man. He's very yeah, cartoony looking. I like it. I'll, I'll, and he comes with the two heads too. That's fucking cool. I never even liked that character as a kid, but I like <laughs> it. I didn't. I liked Monkey and kind. I never really liked the bad guys except for Mumra and Monkey and. But- Mumra's the shit. Slythe is pretty. Is like pretty rad. I think I remember liking Monkey and the best because he was like crazy looking, and then Vulture Man scared me because he's just yeah, like, yeah, he's scary looking and shit. Big naked like- bird. <laughs> this looks like her ha- this extra head sculpt here on her looks like the hair is kind of moving. Oh, for like a running poses and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like that. I, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Does she have her? I don't see her. St- oh, wait, that's her little staff. I I'll bet she, she's gonna. She'll probably come with the big one. She has to. 
Yeah, she fucking better. <laughs> Who's this? I don't even remember this oh, Captain. It's Captain Cracker. That's Who? So what? He's from the show. He's like a deep, deep, deep cut. He had like one or two episodes. He's like a bad guy pirate. <laughs> that's cool. That's the next. I guess that's the next wave, right? The next four. Yeah, what's yeah. The next four after the wait. Hold on a second. What's the the first four we we've, we've seen and they're out. Well, they're not out yet, but they're the okay. What's the next four after these though? Are, isn't this? This is the this is the third I wave. This, I think this is wave three. The there's the there was wave two that I think was was pre-ordering last month, which was like uh, Tigra, Groon. Right, right, okay. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Oh, yeah. Just making sure. This is pretty cool, too. I love the fact that they have like this a random Andre the Giant with the multiple different face so, sculpts. It looks so good. I like that material on that vest. Oh, well, that's uh, soft goods, right? Yeah, yeah. It looks suede. Ah, muck. is this Muck Man? That's Mutagen Man. Mutagen yeah. Man. I had this. You used to be able to fill them up with water as a kid and watch this shit float. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That was really fun. The, but this is what I was getting at when I had said, oh, look, they have turtle figures. And I was like, no, not this shit. This is the <laughs> shit I was talking about. The multi -post. Oh, man. Um, and it looks like they're doing like uh, like updated classic versions. My buddy uh, Lino hit me up and was like, did you see this? He sent me this picture, actually. Nice. And I was like, yeah. He says, uh, yeah, I've, I've seen those. They're pretty cool. And he was like, yo, they're like the newer old figures like you know yeah, so it looks like like that, that head that's on the ground there looks like the exact playmates head yeah, that's what i'm saying it's like the playmates figures but they actually articulate which is pretty cool. the racks and stuff you have to twist the weapons off and shit oh <laughs> my god or cut them off i remember cut having to do that with the yeah. and shit work smarter not harder cut them off cut them off yeah exactly this is fucking cool man Look yeah, at this exactly. bag. yeah. So what's nice. this kind of variant yeah that's i think it looks like I don't know, like, is, is it more metal if it's all black or whatever? <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> and you got them with the top hat over here, right? Oh, the new one. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, so these have been out, these two? I think so, yeah. Nice. And then, all right, back to basketball players and shit. And, and that's the beginning. Full circle. Cool yeah. stuff, man. I think that uh, well, as far as the, core, the, core, the core Thundercats is, like, you know, where I'm at right there with, with that stuff. Yeah. And, um... Let's see. Medicom and Moffex only have two pictures. It's the two different Batmans that we've seen a hundred times. I'm not even going to fucking waste time on that shit. <laughs> I do want to show this off, though, and fucking fling Venom <laughs> this because these look fucking terrible. This looks cool. No, the, the Warhammer ones look awesome. Warhammer, yeah. They, cool. they, that looks cool. Uh, all this anime. I'm, I don't like anime, but they all look good. I don't even know what cyberpunk is. But oh, this is man, that actually looks really good. Cyberpunk's going to be like the next big game comes out in uh, September or so. That's supposed to be Keanu Reeves. It looks like John John Morrison from uh, wrestling. <laughs> 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 Who? Johnny Mundo. Yeah. <laughs> well, that looks right. fun, actually. These look, I mean, whatever. Like, I, they look that? cool. Well, that's cool. Fortnite. It's kind of weird. Fortnite. Fuck Fortnite. <laughs> this is what I was talking to you about, Baz. Look at this fucking. Okay, time. boomer. Fuck oh, Fortnite. These figures look fucking terrible. I'm sorry. They look awful. <laughs> these figures look like straight up fucking dog shit. I'm sorry, guys. Those are two uh, of the best ones, though. He looks cool. He yeah, looks good. The Batman Labs is pretty good looking. Yeah, he looks good. The um, it's just things about them that just don't look right to me. Like I think she looks all right. Mm. Uh, Barbara looks all right. I've seen them in person. They're way too big. Mm -hmm. Look at the size of her thigh. It looks like it's warping. I don't know, man. It just looks mm -hmm. like flat plastic. I think the face sculpt looks good, and I like the armor. But I just the, the actual oh. figure itself. I'm I'm not feeling. Her right. leg looks like a breadstick. I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> it's like two fucking breadsticks. There's like no form to it at all. You know the joints. I don't know, man. I like. I love that they're double jointed, but they're kind of ugly looking. But yeah. I do like the fact that there's a butterfly joint in the shoulder, though. That's dope. She'll be able to do the crossover, like a block. You know that that movie pose that she does. Yeah. What yeah. I don't know is like why they're not doing like more just accurate stuff. Like McFarland's never been about like the craziest articulation and stuff. Like I have this Doom guy from uh, McFarland. And the sculpt on this thing is insane. Like, the detail is crazy. But you can barely move. And that's, like, okay with me because you get this, like, 
twenty dollar, basically one to one like a hundred percent authentic retail figure. Right. You know, with like these horrible gaps and stuff like back here in the legs and whatnot. But I just I don't know. It feels like they're trying to encroach too much on like like Marvel Legends and like what Mattel was trying to do with like their DC stuff, and it's just like keep keep doing what you want to do. Like McFarlane, people like your stuff for a reason. If you change it, like I mean, yeah, you gotta invent and like try and do like more new stuff to get new people. But like at the same time, like this seven-inch bullshit is whack, bro. Uh, it's just another fucking scale to get to get into, and like they don't, they're not gonna fit with anything else I have. So that's uh, automatically you're done. You know, yeah. this is kind of cool. Coming to Kickstarter, it says. So I guess they're gonna be kickstarting. They're gonna be relaunching all the old Spawn figures, but with like newer. Versions. Kickstar Maha. So I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Um. It's a cool cape. Yeah. It looks good. All right. And then they got all the old figures. I don't know why. I guess they're. I don't know what the fuck they're showing. I guess like through spawn through the years or some bullshit. And then there's a bunch of Five Nights at Freddy and Call of Duty. And I don't give a fuck about any of that shit. Mm -hmm. Um. Dragons are always cool. They got this bloodshot they're doing. Mm. Like way out of scale with anything else, and I don't give a shit about bloodshot, so that's just me. I don't know. It's a uh, personal thing. Uh, Borderlands got some pretty cool fucking designs, though. They look really cool, but again, I'm like, eh, Mortal Ooh. Kombat. That's a good looking figure, though. Yeah. yeah. No, these they, they these look better than their DC shit, definitely. Like fucking head Wait, leaps and bounds better. That's what I'm saying. Like this is what they're known for. Do that, but with DC, it can't be that difficult. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. There's, there's the Mortal Kombat spawn. Yeah, word. And he looks like he's got a lot of postability in there too. It's just hid, hidden better, and yeah, know, this looks better. Looks <laughs> good. And there you go, your twenty dollars MSRP, and here's your. Uh, I like that all the companies now though are starting to get the idea where you got to do the double jointed here's and there's and the ankle rockers and shit. I like the. the the subtle updates we're getting. Other companies looking at other companies and kind of catching on and shit. Yeah. There you go. yeah there's that Doom Slayer I got. Yeah, that was the one you were just showing off. That's cool. Spawn. I think these look fucking horrific, too. I mean, <laughs> Joker looks all right, but... I want to like that because it looks like they actually put some effort into the sculpt because it's supposed to match. They, what the fuck oh, is yeah. that? <laughs> what, is, what are you doing? Man, I try and be nice as much as I can to, like, all these places because like I might, legs. I might work for them one day but like man they're making it really hard <laughs> see the legs again again yeah the thighs it's a, <laughs> oh god Ugh. oh god i actually do think that the nightwing looks cool though but again it's out of scale so it's out of out of my yeah. thing was that asriel looks fat asriel, yeah, asriel. asriel looks good asriel but it's looks also good. because it's this big and in dim lighting and You've had a few drinks. Here's another <laughs> thing. I got to be yeah, – Azure looks cool. Here's another problem I have, and we're going okay. to right. focus on this. Uh, these companies need to fucking hire people to actually pose these things so they look good when they have these shows. Um, these figures – like I was looking at the Mezco figures, and here's a, here's a sneak preview. I think Mezco shit the bed this year with their reveals, and the ones that they did reveal look like shit because they're just posed like someone just dumped it on the fucking rack, and it's like – no one's gonna be interested in that if it looks like it just it, it's, yeah it's we can get it when we get there but the, uh, there's probably a reason for that and that's mostly because it's probably resin and right. not well uh, i don't know man even the ones that like are, are have already been released something you know sometimes like companies will show off like a figure that's already been released there's no fucking excuse for that like this is actually like this pose actually looked like it was given some thought. I step really like that figure actually yeah. like imposter Joker or like undercover Joker is like, dang, that's actually pretty cool. I like the fact that his like, oh, it's white like okay, that makes sense. This is White Knight Batman. I'm all about this. I love this book. I am unfamiliar with it. Apparently, I should get familiar it's, with it. I it's a, it's, a, it's a new modern classic, I would say, in terms of Batman stories. You should really read it. I think you like Knight it cool. a lot. Batman White Knight. It's amazing, actually. And the the guy, it, it's got my new favorite Batmobile from oh boy. Like, the last 10 years. 
All right, I gotta check it out then. It's great. All right, fuck McFarlane. Yeah, you, guys you should. It's a cool. bed. Go fuck yourselves. Fucking whack it. You want, want to check out NECA? He, he said that. Yeah. Hold on, let me go to you now. All right, you got NECA. You're going to have to stop. Hold on. Let's share it again. What figure reveals are you guys stoked for the most, says Donnie? Um, the G.I. Joes. <laughs> like, it seems to be like the ones that I'm, you know, that me and G.I. Joe. Um, I'm pretty jazzed about those Super 7 Thundercats, but uh, we haven't talked about it, but Hasbro revealed the next wave of these Lightning Collection guys, and it's got my favorite Ranger in it, Billy right. the Blue. So pretty excited about that. The, the, I don't. I didn't mention the uh, the Super 7s because I feel as though that, like, we've already gotten – like we, they revealed two. Was it last year or two years ago? Or last year, I think they revealed that they were doing the Thundercats, and that was when I was like, ah, you know, Comic Con. I think they announced it this year. Yes, yeah, so I was happened. like, you know, fucking drooling over it and shit. So I was like, all right, they're doing them. They, they're all gonna look good. They're all gonna fit in with your Master Universe classics. Obviously, they're on similar bucks as that, so they're all fit in with the that that whole eighties line. Uh, uh, of like figures, like if you have like older, eight, you know, the Master Universe classics, obviously. Now, yeah, you know, classics. Yeah, classics. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm already like kind of hooked, line and sinkered in for that. I'm. What was pissing me off about this kind of it didn't seem like there was a lot of like, oh, I haven't seen that before. There's only a few of those. Like the GI Joe was like, oh, wow, you know. Um, the the NECA we're gonna look at now. They have a Nada um, from uh, They Live. They actually have a, a cloth oh, wow. Nada. So well, yeah, Baz, take it away. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, this this came out of nowhere. I this this was a pleasant surprise for me because uh, I'm a big Flash Gordon fan. Oh, so this, this is Gordon. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, Defenders of Earth of the Earth. This is a cartoon I, I believe was like in the '90s mm -hmm. that had uh, Flash Gordon um, fighting Ming the Merciless with uh, the Phantom. And uh, Mandrake the Magician over here. Yeah. That that Ming the Merciless actually looks really good. I like that. I'm not like all the paint details. We were actually before Toy Fair uh, dropped. We were like uh, uh, we were looking at the Mezco reveals, like the pre night reveals, or whatever. And we were talking. He was like, "Why the fuck didn't they do like a Lone Ranger? Why didn't they do like a Defenders of the Earth?" And then the next day, bang, fucking <laughs> Defenders of the Earth. Yeah. So this is the uh, Billy well, Ted. Nice. I'm doing. I'm going blitz. Like that Dune version. I would get those for sure. Those are awesome. What With the Dune? animated? Mm hmm. What are those? Yeah. Those are like uh, like they look like little mini statues, kind of. Yeah, this exactly. Looks fun. I like those a lot. I would probably grab those. <laughs> yeah, Jim Carrey. Yo, Coraline was actually a fucked up movie, bro. If you ever like it, it was pretty scary, man. It was it was a it was good. Me and me and little man watched that last year. Mm -hmm. Rob, I just noticed your name is Toy Fair Apologist. <laughs> uh, I've been holding back. I've been wanting to just fucking rip into this shit. But uh, yeah, the collector. We're gonna be looking at Mezco next. That's coming up next. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got Jaws. Nice. That's cool. I like the fact that they're doing. I hate that they're eight inches, but I like the fact that another company is stepping up and actually going into like the a fully soft goods. Uh, it looks like the tailoring on this is way better than what they showed last year. As far I as I like that. the accessories on all those, the Weapons. accessories are nice. What? That's cool, man. I, I like the the bucket of chum and shit. That's it's mm -hmm. dope. I like the Quint. I like the, the, the jackets. Look like they fit right. This is good because it's going to push. Mezco is not going to be able to sit on their laurels too much longer. Another year or two, and they're going to be people mm -hmm. pushing them as far as the cloth uh, figures go. Oh, wow. That's Marty dope. McCoy. They dropped the ball not making it cloth. It should have been cloth goods like the other ones, but this is a really nice-looking figure. Mm. It does look good. I'm yeah. back. Nice. I like yeah. it. I got, I got my I'm struggling good. Something good about it if I say the backpack is good. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> Darth, Darth Vader. Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell my there's that meme on Facebook. I'm gonna tell my kids, I'm gonna tell my this is Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, cool. Are those bigger? Yeah. These look like they're like 10 inch scale or 12 inch. What's that? These? Hmm. 
click. There we go. So yeah, they're doing like an the animated series line with like a little DeLorean and shit. <laughs> oh, they had a dog. The Toon, the toon DeLorean is pretty. Sweet. The Toon, yeah, and I like the Einstein. Uh, yeah, the, Einstein. That's the that's the hit right there. Yeah, Karate <laughs> Kid. Kid. They showed this shit off last year, and they never even fucking came out, man. I think I've never seen them. like those. Look like those are final samples that they're showing off. I know it takes a year for the shit to, from production. Oh, to the shit to oh nice. Props. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, props. This, That's this, awesome. is cool. this is cool. The prop replicas will look dope. I, that that bat grapple, I'll, I have to have that. I love that it's also in the animated colors like we were talking about earlier with the paint job making it look like oh, it was from the cartoon. Yeah. yeah. No, I, that, I have to have that bat grapple. That's, That's cool. That's my wow. favorite bat, bat grapple, too. That's, that's, awesome. that's the best bat grapple and like that that like explosion that it sounds when he fucking like, like oh I like <laughs> it brings me back to my childhood. It's like PTSD almost. Harley's cork launcher. It looks good. I'm I'm more soft on that than I am the bat grapple. Yeah. I like the freeze gun. This is cool. There we Ooh, go. Uh, yeah, we're talking. Wow. Now we're fucking talking. Oh my god, is that a Batman Beyond uh, the fucking that battering down there? No, yes. it's Batman and Robin. Robin's uh No, it's a Batman Beyond. Oh, is it? Yeah. Down there, at the very below that one. Yeah, there you go. Right. Oh, and Nightwing's uh scrim of sticks. That's awesome. That's cool. Cool shit. I like this. I really love I like that. I like Ooh, that. That's the Kryptonite in the case is dope and I like the uh the the Keaton Batarang. Wow. I okay. Now NECA, with, NECA's bringing the heat over here. Yeah, yeah. This is, this uh, is good. This is shit. DC tried to do a bunch of these prop things and just kind of had a soft launch, but these look really killer. Uh, mm-hmm. And oh man, these Godzillas. I know Nick Nack is going to be going ape shit over this. This is right up his alley. Nick Nack's mm-hmm. classic planet. He loves fucking Godzilla toys and shit. Uh, so. Mothra. Oh, you know what? I I love their Godzilla toys, but I have one gripe with NECA when it comes to this stuff. So I was at the store and I walked uh, at, at by Target and they had that Godzilla figure in the box on the shelf and I picked it up and from the – you open it up, it's got that window thing. You can see it inside. Uh, on the inside of it, there's like an instruction seat sheet that says, okay, cool. Like here, thanks for buying the Godzilla. Boil a pot of water, put the tail and the body in there, and then finish assembling it yourself. Wow. The audacity of cool, spend 40 bucks on a figure. Now you finish building it is ridiculous to me. Yeah, <laughs> it's fucking that is next thing I'm going to paint the shit too. You need to figure out how to package the whole assembled figure. Um, That's Shin, Shin I'm Godzilla. Not, yeah, I'm not paying you to like build the rest of the figure myself. That's what model kits are, and they're cheaper. Havoc Dog, I know. I don't know if you were with us from the beginning, but you had mentioned that the GI Joe being the major fail because you wanted the classic '80s. If you want to watch this on the replay, the whole beginning of the show, we talk about GI Joe and why they're not specifically not doing that. Uh, why they're not doing classics? Because these and here's a here's a spoiler: they're not for us. <laughs> yeah. There's a there's a one four scale Raphael cartoon that's all right that's pretty yeah. cool yeah one fourth scale giant thing like that get the fuck out of here hard sell for sure whoa that's cool super shredder i just that's i want cool. that i want that for the dio yeah the dio's dope i like the dio so this all right is now like, uh, how do you get like how does two companies get the license to make the same type of action figures like i thought like uh, like there's like a master license like how does that work like and then other companies can do similar things but Mm. work like when you have one I have, a, I have a specific example that i can tell you offline but uh basically like whoever holds that license which for this this instance i think is nickelodeon uh they don't care oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't more care. money for them so why would they why would why would it matter who's cannibalizing who right yeah i get you that that makes sense the turtles in time was a video game right yeah, yeah, yeah. Those actually look fun. I like the little skateboard things they come with. Again, I like the fact that they're painted like that because I like things looking yeah. like they are from where they're supposed to be, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Pretty cool. I almost want just the dial. Yeah, <laughs> I think that that's probably that a custom-made dial. I don't think you can buy it. I that. know, no. I, of course it is, man. I, 
want these fucking dials. So when I do my reviews, I need di new dials in the background of my shit. Yeah. That Krang looks good, though. I like that. Nice. Pretty cool. Some horror shit. I got to get that. Oh, Annabelle inside the, uh, Annabelle inside the, the, the glass case. That's pretty cool. That's I'm cool. not really big. Horror, but that is kind of cool. Mm. It looks like she has soft goods, too. So that's dope. Did you see that movie, Annabelle? No, I don't watch that fucking ghost jumping out. I don't like nah, jump scare movies. I agree. Hard pass. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with that. Plus, I don't, I don't really like supernatural type shit either. I if I'm gonna watch a horror movie, I want it to be. Uh, I wish I watched the first It movie, the new one, the chapter one. It was pretty, pretty fun. Like once I stopped crying. So. <laughs> That's right. You're not much of a wait. You don't like horror movies, right? Nah, I hate them. But I work on them. But you're a fucking, you work on them. You're a fucking metalhead. Get yeah. the fuck out of here. I know. I, I understand what a, <laughs> a oxymoron I am. I get it. What kind of bullshit metalhead are you? <laughs> yes. Gremlins. Gremlins 2. Gremlins click. <laughs> Ooh, Beetlejuice? Ooh, Toonie Terror, Beetlejuice. Toonie Terror is good. Yeah, I want a, uh, what you call it, uh, Exorcist. Uh, I forgot her name, whatever her name is, but uh, not in Toonie Tunes. I don't want the regular line. Yeah, Linda Blair. Yeah, so Ooh. hopefully they, they release her in, the, in the regular series. I think that, oh, reg, oh regular, not Toonie one. Yeah. That Nosferatu is cool. I like that. These are these remind me of like the in action figures that um what's his face was doing. Stay on this for a second, Baz. That uh, yeah. that that um clerk's guy. Uh, what the fuck was his name? Um. Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith had like those in action figures. Oh yeah, yeah. It kind of reminds me of of, uh, of that a little bit. All right, here here we go. Here we fucking go. Eight inch cloth, not a awesome fucking awesome. Why does it have to be eight inches? Damn you, damn you. <laughs> uh, it looks like that um, Mezco did not show off their they live stuff at all. Looks like they're not even fucking doing it. For a while, I thought it was an issue when they didn't show something like this off was because of like likeness rights with the Piper Estate, but apparently that's not an issue. So hopefully we start seeing this stuff in other areas like Mezco and maybe in action figures or whatever they're called, the retro reaction figures, because I have my They Lives ones over there. So it'll be mm -hmm. nice to get this fucking thing in, in that form too. I love it. Bubble gum for everyone. We got Zane, Zane Comics in the house. Oh, cool. What's up, man? Fucking awesome. Everybody go check out Zane Comics on Kickstarter. You'll, you'll, be, you know, you'll thank me later. We got a Loomis from Halloween 2. Oh, look at that. Nice. Again, soft goods. Thumbs up. Like it. Eddie Good. from Power Slave. Oh, that's cool. I like that. That's cool. Yeah. I can't believe good? they made a, a Sergeant D from SOD. That's so fucking cool. <laughs> The Misfits. Misfits being is fun. Good shit, man. Nice. Tony Terrors. Oh, Chucky and Tiffany. That's cool. He says, I can't believe y'all are just glossing over those NECA turtles. There's actually only one two pack of the NECA turtles I wanted to look at. And I, I don't know if we missed it, but it was the movie turtles, guys. I don't think we've seen them. Uh, I don't think they were in these pictures, which was the Raphael and, and Casey Jones two pack. Yeah, I saw that. That was good. Ew, Captain Marvel. Ew. Oh, fuck these figures. Get out of here. Bobbleheads. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Fuck> is next. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Pixel Dan in the house. Oh, Pixel, Pixel Dan. Dan. Nice. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> the guy's got... <laughs> We're Red Cup Review. He only has like 250,000 subscribers. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is just... Uh... Oh, Alien. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like the little hallway dial. That's fine. Yeah, what's up with that? That's cool. Yeah, that, what I liked what they did with their alien stuff was they're actually given – again, they're a company that's willing to give characters that um, – I know that like the, we, we kind of saw them with the reaction figures when we were looking at the alien stuff, but uh, I like that these companies are giving you the other characters in the movie, you know? Mm -hmm. That wouldn't necessarily sell, quote unquote. What a bunch of bullshit. You want to have an alien set, you want your fucking alien set. That's right. Look at that uh, trophy case oh, right that here. Oh, that that trophy Predator case. too. Cool, man. That's fucking cool. I would just want the trophy case, like. Yeah. 
That's cool. Oh, is that the big one from that new Predator? The one that yeah. like, the Renegade Predator or whatever? Did you see that one? I did. No, I haven't was seen it. it. Was it any good? No. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't watch it. Everyone says it sucks. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't I don't want my time back, which I guess is a pretty low bar. All right, we ran through it. There we go. Nice. All right. Well, there, there you have it. Again, I know Brock was like, how you do Austin over the Turtles? I wanted to see that two-pack. Me and Baz were looking at it earlier with the uh, the Casey Jones and Raphael in his uh, Humphrey Bogart outfit. I thought that looked pretty cool. Uh, I, you know, whatever. It is what it is, but I do like that. Cause I, I love, and I, I pretty much eat up anything Casey Jones. M- fucking Mezco needs to do a Casey Jones. Just one of the characters that I just like. Um, I don't. I, did, did Hasbro show off anything – not Hasbro. Was it Mattel? No, Mattel, right? Who has the Star Wars license? The, the Black Hasbro. Series. Hasbro. Bro, they, they didn't show off any Star Wars shit? I didn't see anything that uh, mm. looked particularly interesting or new. I think there was um, a, a snow speeder. I think there might have been a snow speeder that I, I saw. There's a bunch of Jurassic Park figures. Again, I know Nick Neck is going to go ape shit over this stuff. I'm not into fucking dinosaurs, but they, I mean, you know, they look cool. You know, if you're into dinosaurs and shit, they're pretty big, so that's nice. They're probably some of Mattel's nicer looking figures. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to get to more superhero y stuff. The mad, the, the, this too was kind of weak. I think my, my son's into the um, the elite figures now at wrestling. Mm-hmm. And they showed, um, this is cool that they have like an ambulance and they showed, uh, they, they're doing what's his face, the fiend. The fiend figure looks really dope. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're into, we're into wrestling. Back, we're back into wrestling in the house now. It's been since like 2004, 2005 is when I was out of wrestling. And now I'm back into it. Just when I thought I was out, I won't be Yeah, exactly. And they're obviously doing the face. This is pretty cool. This is a pretty cool John Cena. My son actually hates John Cena. <laughs> this is like weird for like a kid. To like, he's like, I think he kind of sucks. <laughs> so like, yeah, two belts. That's kind of yeah. cool. Multiple heads. I like that. So they're learning. Companies are learning a little bit. Yeah, that's a terrible, terrible fucking head sculpt. What know. the fuck? I don't know what the fuck that is. Shout out to uh, my buddy Ooh. Dave, Dave Vonner, who works on these at uh, Mattel. Looking really good. They have a new Black Series Pro Droid. Where the fuck they had a Baby Yoda Black Series? Where the fuck is all this? All right, all right, dude. I'm I'm freaking. T- I'm tired of Baby Yoda, man. <laughs> <laughs> you get, you're tired of Baby I, Yoda. I'm I done. I think I'm fucking that done. Shit, that shit hasn't even started. Sorry. Yeah, dude, it's only gonna get worse. I know. Come on, Mattel. Yeah, then this is why Mattel fucking sucks balls this year. Fuck you. you fucking <laughs> Jesus Christ. Christ. Go back, go back, go back. Fuck this company. What we want to show. <laughs> Tesla truck. Remote control. Remote control Tesla truck. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that fucking thing looks like a it's like an article. <laughs> it's like all about it. What's his face? Uh, uh, Elon Musk was like, "How could we make something look like a fucking pixel from 1980?" Let's let's do that. It, uh, it looks like a vehicle from Tron. So yeah, you, you boom. Yo. You I'm sure it's gonna be the dopest vehicle of all time. <laughs> Yo, if I if I got one of those animatronic baby Yodas, right? I bought it, right? Wow. And I made a video, and I started off with it like, and I took this knife, right? <laughs> and I just started stabbing the fucking shit out of it, right? How, you think I'd get banned from the internet for life? <laughs> uh, if if not you actually know. murder. I would get death threats easily, right? Yeah. Hold on a second. Goo, People goo, are crazy. Goo, yeah, 100%. Um, <laughs> and you, and you deserve it. I may get death threats just for like just saying that. Just thinking of that thought. Yeah. How, how could you? Yeah, your, your, your career is over. <laughs> it's done tonight. <laughs> Shit. All right. Well, it's been nice All right. Here we go. Here we go. Star Wars reveals new Empire Strikes Back toys for 40th anniversary. Really? Here we go. Okay. That's a nice fucking Luke. Look at the head sculpt. was way oh, better. Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, that's right. Okay, cool. That looks good. Way nice. better looking Luke than the first release. Okay. Can I, can, I, can I have a little bit of nerd rage here? For yeah, a go for it. Uh, so these double jointed knees, like it's great that we're getting them. But when you when you bend them, you need like you know how you get this whole thing like the knee will be here, right? This knee pad. Like two knees now. Yeah, yeah. Separation. Yeah. Dude, like 
use, take this knee. When you do that to bend it forward, have the knee look like that. As soon as the knee is like here, it looks stupid. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I hate every time I see a photo of like that, it's like, oh, wow. And that could be like a picture of, that could be an action figure of Jesus Christ himself. And I would hate the hell <laughs> the knee wrong. They got a uh, Dagobah version, Dagobah decoed. Um, oh, that's good. R2, that's cool. I like the paint apps on there. It would, cool, it would be cool if he came with the little candy bar that him and Yoda were fighting over. Mine! Mine! <laughs> He's hitting him with the stick. Old man Yoda, not baby Yoda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? <laughs> no speeder outfit, Luke. That's cool. Look at how they did the knees. It's different. Yeah, it's, re oh, it's weird. Single jointed. It is single jointed. Shit. I don't know. It also looks like it's like rotating at the knee area there, too. It's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Maybe they did that to make it so when he stands up straight, it looks more, I don't know. Baggy uniform. Oh, that's that looks good. Nice Leia, and my favorite version of Leia is the Hoth outfit, so that's cool. Michelin Man Leia, <laughs> yeah. Hoth Luke, they these are like all just updated. I guess they're just re knees again, man. Doing them wrong. There you go. OG, OG there you Yoda. Go. This is cool. Is that, is that Jake the Snake Yoda? <laughs> <laughs> updated Best Ben Han. Nice. Nice. Okay, knees are okay on that one, so I like it. <laughs> all black trooper whatever come on there's no fucking they ju this figure just came out like a like, two years ago mm -hmm. oh the fucking extreme amount of laziness bro that's it mm. that's it it's, it's like probably more than that we're just I'll, I'll get i'll get the the dirty r2 and the uh the best man, uh luke all right hold on we we fucking we're missing the one thing that i actually advertised for this stupid fucking show and that was the Mezco reveals, actually. So it's on uh, figures.com, has it too. Save the worst, save the worst for last. <laughs> My whole fucking channel is is is, a, is basically around uh, is based around um, figures, plural. Uh, those yeah. those stupid fucking things. All right, let's see. Oh, DC Direct. I wanted to talk about. Right, let's take a look at DC Direct. Let's do that. Uh, again, uh, ultimate form of fucking laziness, as if, uh, if I've ever seen one. And I know, Kyle, you're an industry guy, and you're going to disagree with me, but you want to know what? Our opinions are like assholes, and we all got them. Oh, I know. Right. You know, you could be wrong, and that's okay. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> They're re-releasing every fucking black and white statue of the Joker, but with color. Uh, yeah. And whatever. <laughs> You know, I don't know. A lot of people are raging about that. They look good, but a lot of people are raging about the fact that they're like, oh, my, my collectibles are now not collectibles anymore because they're just re-releasing them. And I don't know about that. I think that's a, a perception that might be just from from whiny culture. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, that's that's a good-looking figure. My buddy Gene St. Gene sculpted that for them. looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. I think I like the black and white statues by them. I've always liked them. I just think these color redecos are a little bit. I don't know. I think they're just. It's tired. I want to see something new. Mm. This uh, yeah. uh, uh, J. Scott yeah. Campbell. That's a J. Scott yeah. Campbell. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like this. This is yeah. This is cool. This is like the yeah. hard, because they're new. It's like newer. Yeah. Stuff. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. There's a better look at it. She yeah. looks good. Yeah, she looks nice. Oh, that's dope with the blood splatter. That's fucking that's nice. Man. I like that one a lot, actually. That's really fucking cool. I like that they're doing like black and white, but they're just highlighting like the reds on her, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that's another nice. black and white that they revealed at this show that looks really good. And I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll call it out when I see it. That's a nice one. Mm hmm. My Marley looks good. Mm -hmm. Again, this is this to me. I've seen I've seen this already. I saw this last year. Some yep. of the things I've already seen. Seen this. Right. Seen this. How old Batman is it's cool. And it's cool looking. It's just I've seen it already. We've seen this. It's like yeah. a lot of this shit is seen this. Seen this last year, two years ago. Enough. Like thick, thick, thick boy. So <laughs> I like, I like That's this one, one that I'm all about. The, I like this one. We, if you Mac, uh, the, the new Mike McNola Gotham by Gaslight, like. I love that cape. Uh, yeah. It looks like that looks straight out of the page. Which that, I, I that's really a magnolia. Yeah. Yeah. 
looks mm. great. That's 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 very well done. The, the the Batman Black and White series, I don't like. I never liked the McFarlane one because it's just a giant fucking dra- it's drapery. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, but no, they're hit and miss. But the ones that yeah. hit really fucking hit. I used to have this one. This was my favorite yeah, originally. That's a good one. The first the first one. I actually sold this one to mm-hmm. buy my first hot toy that I actually bought. That was not my first hot toy. But my first hot toy that I actually bought wasn't. Uh, I sold this to get that. Nice. I think I sold it to get the '89 Batman. Okay. Mm. Uh, okay. One of them, but it's it's they're pretty impressive. So I like it. Those are cool. This is all right. I've seen this already too. This is okay. eh, it's pretty pretty cool. This is th- this to me is is awesome, but terrible in execution. I mm. love this. I would love a statue of the, of the race. But Superman looks like he's fucking like yeah. I guess Too I'm serious. Um, just, <laughs> Flash is smiling. He's like, "All right, soups." And soups is like, "Yeah, all right, it's Tuesday." <laughs> you know, rearrange my sock drawer. I don't know. That Ren and Stimpy. Oh, act- oh shit! My, I went uh, back to that that little car one. Uh, buddy of mine uh, named Patrick Ballesteros. Uh, we went to college together. He designed that. That's really cool. He's finally getting his own little uh, thing. His kind of shtick is like child versions of superheroes in like little like quarter operated like ride along things and oh, so that's, that's, cool. Cool. that's my yeah. favorite that's that well it's not my favorite batmobile anymore but for a long time it was i love the bat battering ram and i love the 1940s uh uh bat uh, batmobile yeah well i'm i'm very proud of patrick that's awesome congrats to him it's very cool did you you went to design school apparently because everyone you know is from oh i went to school with this guy and he colored this and i went to school with the guy and he fucking designed that mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> that man <laughs> Oh, pack beater. That's cool. I wonder if it's going to be colored. Oh, I'll bet it is. Do you know this guy? Because I, I, I think I bought a, a Swamp Thing. Uh, yeah, I know that guy too. From him. Yeah. He's he, done some work for the company I work for now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I met him at uh, the Florida Con- uh, Comic Con last, oh, uh, cool. last year. Yeah, Peter's great. That's a fun one. I like the execution on that, like, fire. Yeah, this is like a Bendy and the Ink Machine kind of looking Joker, or like what was that other game that uh, yeah, that old Nickelodeon. Yeah, it's like a the the old like Mickey Mouse cartoon, but it's like a video game now. Oh, Cuphead. Yeah. 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 Cuphead looking Joker. That's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Catwoman. I, mean, I like I like this different stuff. That's cool. Like very like fairy fountain kind of. Yeah. Thing. That's cool. I think my my buddy Miguel worked on these ones. He works over at DC. <laughs> it's awesome that all you guys know each other and shit. It's cool. It's such a small industry. It's nuts. That's why I got to be nice to everybody. Oh, there we go. I want this one because I never got the original Poison Ivy. Yeah, it's cute that she's the one fucking that she's. But come on, man. We've seen this shit. Put her in a different fucking pose, man. I like the Frank Cho Poison Ivy. I, I, don't I, I this oh, is cool. man. Ooh, oh, okay. Cool. Now we're talking. Now we're talking for me. Poor as hell, man. Uh, uh, God damn it. I was trying not to spend money, dude. That is perfect for me. I I love, I'm a big, big time Black Canary fan, Green Arrow fan. Much love for that. That's a dope, and that's a bombshell line. Yeah, yeah. I already have Bombshell Black Canary, but that's a different outfit for Bombshell Black Canary, so it's out of the door. I have to have it. Yeah, I like that. I like, I like that. Good guy. That looks so good. That's Ali right. is pimping. Yeah. Holy shit. He's got the Elvis look, man. Yeah, he Holy does. Shit. Good fuck. call. Dang. It's fine. Whatever. I've seen this. You know, yeah, it looks good, but I've seen it. At, at, that, that Black Canary Green Arrow thing is a hard act to follow. Yeah, hell yeah. I That's like the Frank Cho. Frank Cho's are all, all the girls have the thick thighs and asses. I love it. They look like women, bro. That one's good. I wish she was wearing shoes. It's really weird that she has like green feet. Yeah. I don't like that, but whatever. That's yeah. that statue I actually really, really, really like. I want that one. It's great. She looks good. That girl. Yeah. The yeah. back row one. That that one's new. That one's a fun one. I like that. Wait, there was another one too. The other one. 
I was kind of, I guess that wasn't another one. It was a four, yeah. So now these are DC uh, essentials. Yeah, whatever. Uh, it's just like, it's just whatever. Relaunching the same fucking figures in zombie form. Whatever. That's, yeah, deceased. Whatever. I haven't been reading that. That's pretty fun. I like it. It just seems like, it just seems like, you know, Blackest Night over again. You know? Yeah. Zombies. They're re releasing the fucking league again. I mean, about well, the like paint outs and stuff. Looks like there's a little bit nicer, which is cool. I don't like it's to me. It seems like could you release a fucking Zatanna figure or something? Could you give me like a Black Canary or something? Like, why do we gotta? It's the same fucking figures a hundred times. Like, Jesus Christ, man. I know that they're the seller, yeah. I, I, but how many times are you gonna fuck like the DC Direct is kind of for adult collectors? Like, can we get the rest of the fucking DC universe a little bit? Mm. You don't gotta give me Kite Man, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> could you fucking give me somebody? He's, uh, Speak for yourself, man. Great man's dope. That Catwoman is probably, probably might be my my piece of the show. It's just so good. This one, right? And it's yeah. That, yeah, it's that that animated fucking paint thing on it too. It's got that animated paint job we were talking yeah. about earlier. Oh, oh, Joker! I, I don't like this version of the Joker with the cut off face, man. It's too gr- grotesque for me. It's a little grotesque, but that sculpt is fantastic. Yeah, no, it's it's a, I like the I, the execution, him dancing with the emptied bat suit. This is cool. I like this version of Batgirl. That's fun. I love the colors. Nice, on it. nice. It's just really nice on that. Dang. Looks great. Uh, all right. You know what? We've seen this a million fucking times. Let's get the fucking. Uh, I like the Batman uh, Magnolia colored. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what the fuck is this thing? Come on. We got to go right to Mezco. There it uh, is. The alien. Here we go. All right. The fucking. Oh, God. You guys are really just going to get ready for the fucking Venom now. <laughs> now, when, now when a pose takes something that could have been cool and turns it into a giant pile of dog shit. I hate the way this fucking figure looks. <laughs> like I think it looks terrible. <laughs> that that The way it's just. I don't know. I don't know if it's the execution on it, or it's just I think the Neko ones look better. Mm. Uh, Baz had mentioned that I don't. He doesn't think that uh, the Predator or the Alien really learns itself to like soft goods, which is like what Mezco was kind of known for. Sure. And I just I'm not feeling it. I think that the the knives, the the the, oh, the wrist knives look cheap. Uh, yeah, the sculpting looks kind of cool and all that. He's got like multiple posable like uh, jaws and shit. He comes with, but I don't know. I'm not feeling it. Whatever. Next, this is cool. They showed this off fucking last year. <laughs> you know, it's nice. It's a nice statue and shit. But we've seen, been there, done that. I want to get off the been there, done that, and look at the new shit. <laughs> so we got to start with this. Here's a good what, what new shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What new shit? Here's a look at the body. You actually get an idea of what the body's gonna look like and how it's all kind of seamless, yeah. one piece. Mm. The belt is color corrected, which is nice. It's actually more accurate than the Hot Toys. The Hot Toys has the yellow belt. It's supposed to be gold, so this is pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah. So I like it. I think I'm going to be pretty happy with this figure when it comes out. So that's fine. We've right. already pre-ordered this, so this is old news now, but it's still all, of, all about that one. Yeah, I got it too. I, I pre-ordered. Give me an exclusive that's got the white suit and a blue face, and it's over for me. Yep. Yep, me and Baz are talking yeah, about I'm that. waiting for another version. So it's, just, it's just not enough in this, like not enough of a difference. Mm-hmm. The problem I have with this is the black and the red. It's like two evil colors. It's like dark <laughs> and then darker. I mean, I don't know. Um, Let's see. Yeah, I like the, the yeah, that looks good. I like that. Uh, this you get a better look at the this figure, and it's got the uh, the same. Uh, it's gonna have the same suit as the uh, the Punisher, the Special Ops Punisher, with like that rubberized kind of suit feel, huh. whatever it is, like that vinyl-y rubber thing. Being gonna be uh, the, the the knee pads, I don't mind them. I think it looks good and chunky. It, it is what it is. It's supposed to be old man bat, so I'm cool with it. I'll probably pose this one with the Bruce Wayne, with the old Bruce Wayne, with the gray hair and the uh, the wrinkles and shit. That's probably how I'll go with this figure. Just to kind of switch up the display a little bit. Wow. Uh, man was great. We've seen that. Yeah, yeah. You know, the better look at the Batman. Don't you got to realize, guys, that these are taken with flash photography and it makes the figures look terrible. The figure does not look like that. 
When's that Wonder Woman coming up? I'm waiting I don't it. fucking oh. fall, apparently. I mean, come on. Really, a year and a half wait for this? The fucking classic version's been out already for like a few months. This is terrible. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm waiting for this, too. This is like, I'm fucking dying for this to go up for pre-order. Mm -hmm. she but she's always looked great. I love the face sculpt on it. Great. Yeah, yeah. looks great. Wow. She looks great. Top to bottom, she looks wonderful. The problem I'm going to have is when I get this is figuring out what I'm going to do with my classic Wonder Woman because I got to figure out what looks better, uh, Kyle, with your statue, and then that's what I'm going with. Oh, stop. Never have enough Wonder Woman. There it is. Yeah, that Mr. Freeze looks good. I've always thought that Mr. Freeze looked good. He comes with a bunch of different Freeze like effects too. Hopefully, good. I don't think anybody here <clears throat> have his uh, like the booklet and shit, but the yeah. booklet shows he has two head sculpts. One like mean looking and one stoic, and he's got like this freeze cannon. He has a freeze handgun. Good. Guns come with uh, like the ice attachments. Oh, nice! I hope he comes with two different domes. Ones that one that's fully clear and one that's frosted. That would be pretty cool. Just cause like you want to see the face a little bit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's a little too obscured, right? I think that might be a three D printed resin issue. Right. For why it's like that um, my my hope is that I, or at least click because <clears throat> then you can like frost it yourself with like a can of air held upside down right photos i uh, think it's good if no the kgb that no one asked for <laughs> just so it's just so okay yeah <laughs> okay that's incredibly <laughs> oh, average -ish. great guys thank and we're you. like the biggest batman fans and we don't give a shit about this figure <laughs> there um, it is Good spring. Oh, spring. So she's coming soon. She'll be out in like, yeah, yeah. I'm excited for that one. Hell yeah. Um, good. we've seen her already though, but yeah, it's good to know that she's coming out soon. We've seen this fucking this is coming out in the summer again. Mm -hmm. Same, same old, same old. Good. They updated yeah. him with the stash. Thank god, this figure looks a thousand times better now that it has the stash. Yeah, yeah. I saw Iron Fist has the stash, but what else is new? Just the fact that it has a sash makes it a completely different yeah. thing. Oh, uh, Baptiste looks like a new guy. He's commenting. Oh, uh, nice. Hey, what's up, buddy? Thanks for joining us. I think he's, uh, as someone who's on the inside, yes, it is definitely affecting more than people realize. So, could you give us, like, as we're looking at this shit, can you give us like a, a rundown? If, if you well, obviously you work inside the industry, so you got to have some kind of information on what's going on. A little bit, yeah. I mean, the 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 Chinese government is like don't, like kept the uh, factories closed mandatorily for like a little bit longer uh, than people re expected. Um, and even then, like when the government says like, okay, you can like open back up again, like a lot of factories are choosing to stay closed for longer just to ease the production back in because like the, a lot of it is like um, workers will work in factories in certain provinces but they'll live in farther provinces and so like when you need to like when they go back to work the roads are, are absolutely crazy like every time i go there it takes me about two hours to go like 10 miles because the road was so cracked there and that's not on holidays hmm. so um my guess is it's your, your your full factory reopens are probably now like april so my guess is that your San Diego Comic Con exclusives for 2020 are going to be more expensive than they ever have been and more collectible than they ever have been because it's going to be lower quantities. Wow! And if it goes any longer than that, we're probably getting into like affecting how Christmas looks. And wow! So that's crazy. Yeah, I sure have a buddy of mine. Uh, shouts to um, Mavericks Rogues. Uh, he sent me a video of like people in in Hong Kong like spitting on their hands in elevators and just wiping it on the inside of the buttons and shit, and like doctors' offices to spread the fucking coronavirus. And it was like, what the fuck is this, man? That's crazy. Um, so yeah. Oh, by the way, Rob Swallow, Mr. Rob Skywalker. When we were both earlier, we were both watching the uh, the Hasbro uh, GI Joe event and Transformers event, and I shouted you out in there. I was like, yo, what's up, man? I don't know if you saw it. Uh, that new, the new Netflix Transformers cartoon looks fucking awesome. It mm. looks so awesome, and it's a three-part series, like three little mini movies. Okay. Uh, the first first episode takes place in the last like three or four hours before Cybertron, like before they leave Cybertron, and it blows up. And uh, like they have like um, Megatron's talking in like a, a stadium of like Decepticons, and his plan is. 
to get the all spark and use it to reprogram the Autobots to make them fall in line with the rest of the Decepticons because he mm. wants to unite everyone together. And like, it's like very Hitler esque, and they're all like chanting with their arms up and shit. And he's on the podium. Yo, it looks fucking awesome, bro. Is it on YouTube? Dude, you look it out later. I'm watching the trailer right now. Yeah, dude. Like, just be before you great. said that, I started watching it. Yo, dude, focus. We got to talk about how bulky this Thanos is. He looks like Bobby Boucher. <laughs> 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 but, 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 they're, call, they're calling it an anime, you know that? Yeah, really? yeah an, it doesn't look anime though. It's like computer, yeah. computer generated looking uh, uh, yeah. thing. This here looks like, uh, like like his mom, 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 mama said that that the Infinity Gauntlet was powerful. <laughs> <laughs> the oh soul God. stone needs to be exchanged for a body. <laughs> Uh, no, no. I like how thick he is. He should be like un ungodly muscular. Yeah, but it's just the no neck thing and the giant shoulder pads. I don't know. The body itself is fine. <laughs> My guess is it's a prototype that they're showing off. No. Nah, the head sculpt is dope though. The yeah, the smiling sculpt is great. Yeah, that is, it really is. I, I yeah, that looks great. Yeah, look at that. We've seen Morbius last year, but you know, whatever. But. but but really cool looking. Better looks better than the trailer for the movie. <laughs> yeah, no, it looks good. That looks good. Magneto, whatever. We obviously we we have him already. Oh, they put the bike back up. Spring twenty twenty one. Are you fucking kidding me? They showed this figure like three years ago. It's true, but at least the bike is back and there's an actual date on it. The, this figure comes with uh, the but these these uh, flame attachments are actually attachments, so you could attach them to the wheels. Oh, that's nice. And I think he has the chain, and he has some other shit too. He comes with. I forgot oh, what else he comes with. So he, he comes with a nice variety of shit. So he looks pretty. Oh. Cool. Morbius looks good. Gambit does not have any waist articulation, so have fun posing him. He looks awesome, but he ain't gonna pose for shit. So. Oh my! Look at that. Look at that. Planet of the Apes. There we go. I don't know, guys. Really? Planet one, of the Apes? One ape. <laughs> one ape? <laughs> not even the main ape, the fucking doctor guy. Ape, ape does not buy ape. It's not, it's not even a corner of the apes. It's, it's <laughs> planet. You got one ape. <laughs> yeah, whack. Planet of the ape. <laughs> <laughs> These look great. Uh, We've seen them already. Like, These look yeah. awesome. Yeah. There he is. Very yes. good. <laughs> Whatever. He's got nobody to be a wise ass to. This mm. looks fucked. Who poses this shit? He looks like he's taking a shit. <laughs> Come on, man. This made me this pose makes me hate this even more than I probably should. I like him. It looks good. Yeah, he looks all right, but the fucking like I don't know, it's the shit pose man it's a shit pose remember what i said it looks like it's probably a resin prototype you can go zoom back out or to the, the other one look at look at the base uh see how there's that white line right around the rim of the base that's probably because they printed it out and put it on the base just for the display so you're oh. probably with a resin prototype and stuff so do not judge it by what you're seeing now Right, I mean, right, but is that good enough to justify like the the what it was eighty dollars, hundred dollars, hundred 100 100 for this? Are you kidding? Yeah, he also he come with his staff. He only come, I saw it in the book. He comes with the the laser cannon, the head that he, the head that he pulled at that that um the the head with the the spine attached to it. Yeah, and I think that's it. Uh, maybe one other accessory. He does not come with like all the crazy shit that you think he should come with. Mm. And there's no soft goods on it, too. It's like, where the fuck are the soft goods? Unless these things wind up being actual metal, like the way the Iron Man has the uh, the die cast, then, it, then, parts, yeah. then now we're talking. Cost increase is probably has – Corona probably has something to do with that cost increase. To be <laughs> yeah. Oh, the coronavirus, you think? Yeah. I think this looks fucking terrible. I saw somebody going uh, ape shit over this. The reason why I think it looks terrible is because of the price point, too, guys. It doesn't look bad. It looks bad considering NECA does it for twenty dollars, and this company's doing it for a hundred. Yeah. To me, it's like the same shit. I get same thing though. It's got that paper lip around the end, so I have a check. 
you know. Yeah, now he comes with a bunch of bits. Like with the plastic one. This so. figure comes with like two different eggs, one hat, one not hat. He comes with a face hugger. He comes with like different mouth attachments for the to oh, come out. So he comes with a bunch of shit. At least cool. he has that. You know, yeah. more hands and shit. So I'm not super familiar with Mecca's line of it, but uh it doesn't really, they don't usually come with that many accessories, right? It's usually like no, no, not at all. yeah, exactly. So I mean you get that bonus here. So I think this is not completely unreasonable for all that extra stuff that's coming with it but i mean like look at that you can see like the inner dome and the skull and yeah i like the skull the way it's like I, never noticed that the, I don't think did do aliens even have that like i never noticed the so, alien it, it turns out that uh it depends on what they are coming from so like there's a human skull in there because that's big chap which is the alien that came out of kane in the original one so like it's based on like it has that form because it's like based on like human DNA that it like face hug to. Right. So like, the dog one has like a dog skull and shit and like things like that. I they, it changes depending on like the DNA that it like mutates. Yeah, they mutate. As I understand it, yeah. Yeah, I don't and, remember seeing the skull like, in the movie. That's like, actually, like, I think it's kind of weird. Like I never remembered seeing the skull in the movie and inside that. In the aliens one, they're not in there, but in the first movie, it's definitely. Oh shit! Mm -hmm. Oh, whatever. Hellboy <laughs> from a fucking movie nobody saw. My man Conan. That one looks good. I like it. I like the screaming head sculpt way better. They should have went with that head for this for the display. It looks way better, but he comes with a ton of shit. So I'm I'm sold on. I already pre-ordered him. So yeah. Uh. Uh, they updated the John Wick figure. They did something to change it around. People were like really happy with it, but he is on the single jointed body. Which is kind of weird. I don't know why they would put John Wick on a single jointed body when he said shares a similar fr frame as the Freddy Krueger figure, and that's all double jointed everywhere. Mm. Like, that's like Freddy Krueger is like their most poseable figure. I don't know why they wouldn't just use that buck for other figures that have clothes on. That are I would, I would guess it has everything to do with the uh, the clothing layering. Okay. So you know you can put like John Wick has like the the long shirt, the vest, and the coat, whereas Freddy's literally just like. A, a pedophile in a sweatshirt so it's like right the the that would hinder him insanely and so why even bother like what like what would be worse like 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 the layering clothes on like that skinnier body probably makes him look average right and then it, but if you put him in like that that like freddy body and then like he now he's even bulkier the clothes don't look right and like you have those double jointed elbows but you can't really use them like i feel like that's more even more frustrating Mm. That having this that makes it look good and layered properly, right? As opposed to like, look at this functional figure that you can't really do shit with, right? So that's I guess that's that's the logic. Well, that's that's why we have you on the show for the fucking <laughs> logic, man. Shit. <laughs> I love this Conan statue, but again, old news. Yep. 20, oh, spring twenty twenty one. Fuck this company. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there, is a, there is a set of the of the. I don't, I don't give a shit about any of these figures, but there is a set that I wanted to look at that, that Mezco did. Uh, where this are you? Dog is kind of cool. They're cute. All these things are kind of cool and cute if you're into that type of shit. But I meant I just want the dog. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, what the fuck is the Batman shit, dude? Oh yeah, the, that one. There you go. That's cool. That's very cool. The lips. <laughs> nice lips. <laughs> Okay. But uh, not even that they have like a uh, smaller ones, like the five point articulation. Oh, the five points. Oh, that is that the the Toy Fair exclusive one. Yeah, they, I thought their exclusive set this year was whack. Their goodie bag this year I thought was very lacking. It's just yeah. another fucking Gomez with a gold head. I don't understand why people are going nuts for this Go Gomez shit. I, I really don't like going nuts for. It. To me, it's just like okay, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um. Oh, that's cool. I like those Scooby Doo. Five. It looks like they're jocking the or jacking the style of uh, Super Seven. Yeah, word. Pretty much. It seems like well, hey, listen, you know, this is what I wanted to look at. This is fucking cool because it comes with everything. It comes with the whole fucking diorama and the car and all oh, those really? top of things. Wow, that's cool. The whole deluxe box set. That's fucking cool as hell. Dang. Like the non posable five points of articulation stuff. This is fucking cool because it comes with everything. So it's like wait. So that's the box it comes in, right? Yeah, that's probably the box folds out and becomes the back yeah. cave. Summer 2020. You think that's a Comic Con exclusive? Maybe. 
Eh, it's possible if the coronavirus doesn't get it doesn't have anything to say about it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I like it. I like the Alfred too. I got they got the poles and shit. And yeah, that's great. You know, so yeah. very nice. And then you got the Adams family stuff. We've seen that. That's fun. Very cool. so, uh, there was other there were other things too that they that they showed off that we we weren't looking at like they had uh it looked like Hydra figures that were just basically repainted versions of uh, of Daredevil move you know the movie yeah Daredevil. I love that it was um weird it was like another like uh, uh a bad a bad guy some deep sea bad guy for for Mez Gomez to fight Baron Baron Benz his name is yeah whatever oh. um. Is that statues? Gold for sale or just a, a showpiece? Uh, I don't. I didn't. As far as statues go, Prime One showed off a bunch of statues, but they weren't at the con. I don't think QMX was at the con. QMX, that company is completely full. Yeah, well, uh, um, they're on uh, figures.com. There was a, a, an article. Really? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go back because they've been. I, I'm. I'm really kind of upset. At that. I'm. I'm very upset at that company. Because, was it? it might have been yeah, quantum mechanics. Here we go. Quantum mechanics. Let's see. Ooh, an Ace the Bat Hound. All right. All right. I may have to take back what I was saying. <laughs> I love Ace the Bat Hound. Where the fuck is the everything? Is, do they have anything? I'm going well, a very different way. There was, was an enclosed booth open only to buyers and press. And inside those groups got to see some things the company is working on, but there was no photography allowed. Oh, fuck you. I hate this fucking company. So we can't <laughs> see we can tell you about it. Batman Family Night Out, limited edition, Q Master Diorama. Very fun take on Batman's family of younger characters racing across the uh, You can see. find photos of that. They've shown that before. Yeah. Same with the Deadpool Ghost Rider. Uh, mm -hmm. The only new ones it looks like are Batman Last Night on Earth, Catwoman and Harley, uh, Miles Morales, Jean Grey, Rogue Storm, two figs. So they, they pretty much completely gave up on their Star Trek licensing for the six scale figures. Mm -hmm. I mean, apparently they're not producing the Inigo Montoya figure, which is just complete or shit. That's why I sold my fucking Princess Bride six scale because look, if they're not going to release the Inigo Montoya, there's no reason for me to have this. Point, yeah. uh, I, I don't understand that. Like It's just like mind-boggling how you that, that, you know what going forward like when when san diego comes around and hot toys shows off all these toys that we go goo goo gaga over and then they never put them up for pre-order i can't get excited anymore about anything like i really can't get excited about a company that's going to show me a bunch of star wars figures that they never release or a bunch of marvel figures that are never getting produced it's like yeah it's been like six months since the con and nothing has gone up for pre-order it's like what the fuck are you doing uh yeah. yeah. Uh Rob Swallow, uh Diamond Select Toys is making uh Lord of the Rings action figures. That is good that look pretty good. Um other other people who are worth mentioning, which you can find on Toy News I, I don't know if we have time to go over it here. Uh Thousand Toy or Thousand Toys is pretty good, but Storm Collectibles is actually doing some pretty cool stuff, like Injustice figures that are highly articulated. Nice. Um, and uh, Kotobukiya has got a lot of good statues. There's a Cyclops that's looking pretty exceptional here. What, uh, was what you call it at the con? Um, Asmus? Uh, I don't know. They're usually there every year, and, and everyone's dying to see that Gandalf that they keep saying that they're going to put out, but still hasn't come out. Yeah. I can see if I can find that. Uh, yeah. No, this Kotobukiya stuff's looking really good, and the Storm Collectibles and Justice stuff seems really great. There's like a. Uh, it looks like it's almost like Mezco scale Aries, which is really cool. So you can pair that with your your Mezco One Roman, perhaps. Oh, the Injustice Aries. Mm hmm. Yeah, it looks freaking awesome. They got Dark Side. They got Doomsday. They got Bane. They got uh, Lobo. They're like hundred bucks a pop. Yeah, but for a figure that scale, uh, pretty cool. I think I, I was. I'm kind of considering the Lobo and the Bane myself just because yeah, uh bane, bane is available now he's out i know i just gotta get the funds <laughs> that's the old that oversized bane right mm -hmm. yeah. yeah i'm doubtful mezco will ever get to it so i might grab that one just for myself yeah. um Oh, what else? Uh, well, yeah, the, uh, the Rob, you asked. Uh, it's Asmus that's doing the Lord of the Rings six inch, uh, say, I'm twelve inch, um, uh, like the Hot Toys looking figures. You know, like the the, the six scale. 
Uh, screen share. Yeah. Well, screen share. What do you got? Let's see. Add to stream. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Nice. Who That's is that? Studios. Who is that? That's uh, Iron Studios. Oh, yeah. These guys have been putting out some pretty quality work. I've got one of the Black Panther statues, and it's really nice. That, that is really nice. One thing I've noticed, uh, I, I I've been gushing over these tweeter head statues lately, right? I got the I just did the review on the Batman, and I got the Wonder Woman, I got Superman coming in, which is like the reissue that's been out for like a year now, but it was like fucked up, so they had to reissue it. I'm like looking at these, I'm looking at all the statues the other day, like just going through, going, oh man, I really want like more of these, and I'm noticing that half the statues are in the same pose. Batman in the same pose as Robin, but it kind of makes sense because they do look good together doing like the, the, the Captain Morgan one leg up with the fist. Mm. And then Darkseid has that same pose. And Green Lantern has that same pose. <laughs> yeah, and you're Robin, right. What the what? fuck? What, where the fuck am I right now? Am I on drugs? <laughs> like, Wonder Woman has the same pose too. No, Wonder Woman's got, well, got one leg up on a rock, dude. I don't know what you want. The what? She's got one leg up on a rock. It's the same yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Mirror. Well, at least her fucking hands are different. She's doing some kind of like combat pose or something. But like, I know that they're not all the same mold, right? They're all yeah. sculpted by the same guy. Paul Harding's pretty much doing the sculpting. Yeah. And they're all designed for the most part by Jose Luis is doing like the, the layouts for them. But what's up with all of these being in the same fucking pose, man? Like, what is that? Like, it just, it all of a sudden it dawned on me. Like, I was like, oh, you know what? I was like, yo, I'm going to just going to do the Trinity, right? I'll do Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. And then I was like, oh, maybe on the other side, I'll have like Flash, Green Lantern, and Aquaman if they ever do it, you know? Yeah. And then I was like, wait a second. I'm going to have all these statues and they're all in the same fucking pose. Like, it's, at least Superman has his arms down, like by his side, and he's kind of like puffing his chest out. But yeah. Shit. Now it kind of made me feel like, ah, it's kind of like cheapens the whole. I, hope I might just stick with the Trinity, you know. Mm. But uh, anyways, so that was kind of like, eh, you know, and I really like those fucking statues too, so whatever. Uh, I'm not – I don't like it. Hey, come on, guys. Get this out of here. I don't like anything. Have to do with this fucking stupid movie. <laughs> that, that you know? old Wonder Woman looks good in the, in the armor. You want to see that Wonder Woman? Yeah, that looks really good in that Kingdom Come armor. There you go. That's the, uh, from the movie, 1984. Yeah, that's a cool fucking Great. statue. That is a cool fucking statue. Somebody asked recently uh, on something that was talking about this this outfit, and they were like, oh, when, does, when did Wonder Woman get rings? Or why does Wonder Woman look like Hawkman or, or Hawk Girl all of a sudden? It was like, well, that's kind of like her. Th it's been her thing since, like, I don't know, forever. Motif. Yeah. Like, you know, she's had it for over fucking 30 years. But uh, the face <laughs> from the Storm's Batman is kind of disappointing. No, I don't know. I, 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 as you had that up. Anything else, guys? I, whatever we didn't get to this week, if anything happens to develop over the next couple of days, obviously we'll kick it into next week. And if anybody has us and anything you want us to address that we didn't address or look at or go over, please let us know and we will get to it. Oh, yes. Christopher and Reeve. Here we go. CM Brock, exactly what I'm fucking talking about. Did we get to the Christopher Reeve Mezco tease yet? Well, we're doing it right now. And all it is is the picture of the symbol. But I am so fucking happy. That, that saved Mezco for me. I was like, ah, uh, uh, this all looks like, eh, I've been there, done that. And then they showed that picture in the um, the art book. Well, that, that book that releases like all the coming soon type things. And yes, we will have a Christopher Reeve Superman to go along with our 89 Batman, which is just fucking wonderful. That's good. I would just appreciate a, like a comic book, at, you know, semi-accurate Superman so I don't have to spend 250 fucking dollars to get that. Justice League shot that you have. Yeah, I know the uh, that that Superman is pretty subpar. Now that I was like, I was like looking at everything. I even said it in the room. You, I was like, they all look great together, but the Superman is kind of like he looks great with everyone else. You should you should just give it to me. I'll take it off your hands. You won't have to <laughs> that ugly piece of shit anyway anymore. That's all. I take care of it for you. You can. I'll even send you pictures. You know, give me you just look like it right. Right through my yeah. fucking photos. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that, that out of the. I, I even redid the uh, the detox. I don't have Batman with his cape spread out anymore because I'm putting Green Lantern floating and and I have uh, Shazam up a little bit more and shit. Uh, they all they look really fucking great together. So if you guys are DC completionists or just Justice League guys, get this to complete your Justice League line because Hal looks fucking awesome with the rest of the league. 
Uh, I got uh, I have the John Stewart one. And it, oh, John, I don't have John Spaz went I got the John Stewart. So that's mm. like I'm, I'm sure that I've been hearing good things about that figure too. It's the same it's the same buck from what I'm seeing from the other reviews. So it's basically the same figure with a different head sculpt. Um, my GL has always been Hal from when I was a kid, although yeah. I would love for Idris Elba to play <laughs> fucking uh, John Stewart. Yeah, John Stewart, yeah. I, would, I want Idris Elba to play every everybody. <laughs> I want him to he, he just make that Dust Justice League movie where he's everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he him and, on him and Wonder Woman. Yeah. I don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, no. I want I want I want a Mezco Guy Gardner. Yeah, I'm sure everything. This is an issue I'm kind of having. I'm seeing them put more resources into developing their Gomez stuff, and they're getting a lot. And I mean, a lot of people are liking that stuff, and there's no licensing fees, and they're all just reissues and repaints and shit. So I have a feeling that what I'm worried about is where it's going to start seeing less and less shit and more and more of that because it's just easier and more cost effective for them. It's a little bit of that, but you need that to be successful so that you can afford to pay your royalties on the other ones. I don't think there's ever a world where they'll stop doing that stuff because it's what they're known for. Right. But uh, you certainly will start to see more of that Mezco like universe Gomez stuff because yeah. then fund that stuff. See, not a, not a lot of this stuff comes out every year, so I feel as though like if I was in charge of the Mezco stuff, I would be like, all right, look, we want to do like our Gomez stuff, right? So. We need at least, we're doing Toy Fair, you need at least one new X-Men character, one new DC Justice League character, or Batman villain, which we got with Two-Face. Uh, we need one, yeah. we need like one or two of of filling in mainstays, you know, and then we could sprinkle in, like, me and Baz were talking about uh, before they revealed Predator and Alien, like, I wanted to see, like, another... Um, uh, I like it when they take chances on shit like the uh, the Warriors type action figures. You know, the Warriors, the uh, Alex DeLarge from Clockwork Orange. Like, I want to see more of that shit. So I think that they should release at least one of those every year. Something that's like a classic movie or something. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I would I would just like I don't know if they're gonna. It depends on how they're gonna release it. But at the same time, I think that because we've seen a lot of the same figures on display. Maybe uh, I think it was not last year's Toy Fair. I think it was the year before where they showed so much shit that they're just playing catch up at this point. Yeah, I mean I don't I don't I don't like talking bad about anybody for sure. Like, but because I, I feel for it, like it's hard. Like, if there's a bunch of stuff that you're trying to sell and like no one's buying it, and you have to like keep showing it to try and do it. Like, there's, there's some companies that don't want to keep same old stuff. everything Mezco sells out. Every I, fucking yeah. figure they do sells out. Everywhere. And that's so, true. But there are some people that don't. I mean, like, you haven't even talked about, you know, our buddies at, at Cryptozoic, but they, you know, oh. they got some new stuff. So, I know. have, yeah, I haven't even, like, uh, like with the Cryptozoic stuff, I haven't seen them even post anything online yet for me to, to kind of share. You know, I think that, and, and, and Cryptozoic, I can't say a bad word about that company because they actually, like, practically support the fucking channel here the most <laughs> it's like them and it's weird it's like them and sideshow and, and sideshow i have like this um this working relationship with where i crypto is like they're like the guys that are like be, you know they share my shit on twitter they share me on fucking instagram so and, and we love amanda amanda's like our fucking yeah. you know amanda is like a little sister i never had she is know. really great, so. but i think that um like I, again, I can only talk for this. Like this, when I saw this, I was in love with this. I told them they need to. And a few other people actually said it too. Like in in uh, in the chat and in the um, when I posted this up online and, and in the uh, comment section, they were like, "Yo, a, a whole Justice League in that form would be fucking awesome." And I think you need to get like to, I, I don't know. You gotta. <sighs> You gotta give me something different. Like I really like what they did with that new, uh, the new bombshell Catwoman. I told them I liked that they went with like more of a battle damage look because it made for a yeah. more interesting looking uh, bombshell thing that they that they're known for. But we just need more. You yeah. need more stuff, you know. Yeah. I the, feel like the Cryptkins are cute. They're cute, but like they went to like the the five inch versions or something like that, and they're just upscaled versions of stuff that we had kind of already seen. Yeah. yeah. So I get it, cooling costs and all that. I understand that. 
But again, every year, because it takes a year to produce, you need something like this. And this was Crypto's book I told you. Had my, and it was your fucking thing. I didn't even know it was your shit. That was my reveal of Toy Fair last year. You know? Yeah. So, um, so let's see. Uh, Gomez probably fund the rights for Planet of the Apes. Yeah, exactly. Havoc Dog understands. Gomez stuff probably funded the rights for the Planet of the Apes, the Alien, the Predator, and the Reef like this is. And Mexico ha uh, isn't Hasbro. They're probably not big enough to have that much new stuff all the time. Yeah, no, I understand that. But if you're going to get like, I don't know. I'm sure like the Planet of the Apes thing is is say, is price-wise, I would assume uh, like they probably didn't pay a fortune to get like the, the Ash versus the Evil Dead or the Evil Dead 2 license or whatever. I'm sure they had to pay for it. But, oh, man, I would have been uh, – this conversation would have been a mute, mute point if they would have had – Gave me like a Jack Burton or like an Escape from New York Snake Plissken or something. I would be like, "Up, oh, Mezco won again," you know. But that's just like a per, you know personal uh, thing. Yeah. And if they would have shown off more fucking they live stuff, I mean, shit. At least release the that. That's one thing I don't understand. They showed that they live uh, um, figure off last year, and they never even put it up for pre order. You know, so it's kind of like I don't know. I don't. I I can't put a lot of trust into these companies anymore because if you're going to show me something and then never release it, it's like, how the fuck am I supposed to get excited for something if I don't know if it's ever going to be released? That's true, but that's a lot of what Toy Fair is too, though, is you put it out there, you see what the, what's happening and, you know, see if, if, you know, if, if nobody orders it, then you can't make it. Yeah, there, there's no excuse on Hot Toys end because Hot Toys... Everyone went nuts for those fucking Star Wars figures, like the Padme. I don't give a shit about any prequel-related Star Wars stuff, but people, I know a lot of people were going nuts over the fucking prequel stuff, and they didn't, they didn't put anything up for, uh, for order, you know? So it is what it is. I mean, I, I, I'm not talking bad about the company. I just question yeah. why you would do something like that. Not you suck and you made shitty action figures. You make the best, but yeah. what are you doing here, you know? Yeah, for sure. And uh, like I like I said before, no one is more upset about having to cancel a figure than the people who worked on it. Yeah. So keep yeah. that in mind. Baz, what do you got? What do you think? Toy Fair. Thumbs up, thumbs down. What is your reveal of the of Toy Fair? And uh, give us some final thoughts. I think it was better than last year. It was. Uh, Mesco, Mesco was uh, extremely mediocre. I mean, they just – to me, they showed the same old shit. And uh, you know, Alien and Predator. Come on, I think NECA has is taking care of that license pretty damn good, if you ask me. Um, so Mesco was a disappointment. Uh, I liked a lot of the NECA stuff as, as I did last year. Also, NECA is really improving as a company. They're uh, I've always liked their sculpts, but their their plastic is is a little bit stronger now. There's less, you know, there's less, uh, you know, they're breakage. No, they're breaking, and, man, they're really no and uh, their articulation is is way better also. Uh, so I'm, I'm liking the NECA. Uh, I'm looking forward toward to the uh, Defenders of the Earth uh, wave uh, with the Flash Gordon and Phantom. Um, and I like I love the uh, X Men movie stuff. I've been waiting for uh, you know those versions of the characters to uh, yeah. to be uh, made. And uh, uh, Hasbro looks great, man. Those figures are excellent. A lot of X Men stuff. A lot of X Men, you know. Yeah, they haven't really been putting out X Men in the past few years, up until like uh, last year. So, we're we're getting more than our full for X Men. So I'm I'm happy with that. Uh, DC Direct. Um, I don't know. So might be some statues I may be interested in, but other than that, uh, figures wise, not nah, nothing really interesting. I'm gonna be saving a lot of money. And uh, GI Joe. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, we've uh, I've been waiting. You've been waiting for GI Joe in six, six inch form for a long time. Yeah. So I'll be getting that first. That first wave definitely as soon as it, you know, was available. So, yeah, it was okay. It was fun. It wasn't anything uh, outrageous, but it was definitely better than last year. I was just dis more disappointed last year. Mm. Yeah, I thought last year was like again. It was just like for me when I walked out because I was actually there last year and I walked out going, mm. I don't give a shit about nothing except for the fucking Wonder Woman. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I didn't give it. Was like whatever. Everything else was like extremely like okay, all right, whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, Kyle. Any uh, any words on Toy Fair? Again, you know, I I really I like that we we get to have Toy Fair at all, especially yeah. with what's going on overseas and stuff. Like this could have been a, a pretty disastrous year uh, with everything that's going on. Um, and uh, you know, like I personally like the DC Direct stuff. There was I, I we were I was sitting in the office like looking. I was like, oh man, look at all of these. These look so good. Like I honestly, I feel like DC like really 
brought it this year, which is good because I don't remember being super impressed last year. Uh, um, Mezco Two Face, I'm all about the f Mr. Freeze, I'm all about uh, more impressed with Hasbro than I thought I would be. Mm -hmm. uh, usually Hasbro, Mattel, like it's kind of like all right, whatever you have all, all the money in the world, so it's you know hard for me to care, but like. I don't know. It could just be that I'm like collecting, you know, these this scale again. But I'm, mm -hmm. I'm more interested in Hasbro than I have been in quite some time. Um, but as far as you know, just in inventiveness and like here's something you know kind of new-ish. Like some of the like I think some of those statues in DC are really got me going. You know. Yeah. Totally, but I totally can't agree. Just be excited about anything cool at Toy Fair because it, you know. It, uh, every every even when there's not a, a massive outbreak overseas, uh, everything that comes out is uh, teetering on the edge of disaster and never coming out ever. So mm. I try and think of it like that. It's like, oh man, like you should be proud that like getting to the prototype stage to show at Toy Fair is a huge undertaking. Mm. You know, so like I'm it's cool that we get to go and like, we have this ability to hear talk here with you and your fans and just everybody in the toy community and just talk about the shit that we love. You know? yeah. so. Totally. For me, uh, I would say that I think Hasbro did it this year and won it as far as the bigger companies go. Like, I mean like the, the, the top guys, I guess like your, your Mattel's the obviously Hasbro, the, mm -hmm. uh, they, they they blew the doors off of uh, usually for me it's Mezco every year Mezco every year and now has yeah. I think just fucking counter punched hard. <laughs> uh, I think that as far as statues go, I think DC Direct is doing like the ones we looked at with the uh, the that canary and 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 Green Arrow is fucking outrageous. That That's one might be my reveal of the show. I did that not expecting that one, and that was like right yeah. in the chest. That was so. really good. Um, the uh, so I think that Hasbro took it away. One thing I was kind of, uh, um, the, uh, you know, again, Super Seven was good. I've, I'm I'm already in on the uh, Thundercat stuff. Yeah. I kind of wanted to see. I like. I would like to have seen better pictures or prototypes of the Conan figures because, like, I mean, Conan the fucking barbarian is like my favorite movie. <laughs> but um, oh, the movie things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Baz is loving the fucking uh, the He Man, uh, the the He Man movie figs. He got went and got the whole set. He's like, oh, yeah, I, I, I got them too. They're awesome. Yeah, he was he was showing them to me. They look really fucking good. Um, what else? I haven't seen any of the Diamond stuff. The Diamond Select stuff I haven't seen. I know they have like these animated series busts that look really good, like not life size, but like maybe quarter size uh, animated series, Batman anime series books that look pretty good, but I haven't really looked into them a lot much. We're going to have to kick that over to maybe the next show. Uh, Baptiste has a good point in the chat uh, saying Hasbro, Hasbro is probably the only company able to take the hit of the coronavirus, which is why they had more to show off. Probably true. What do you mean take the hit? Like uh, More money, know. they have internal resources to do prototyping, things like that. Oh, okay, cool. So they don't just necessarily always rely on the overseas uh, help, you know. That yep. makes sense. Yeah, good point, Baptiste. Um, I'm hoping the GI Joe figures don't get delayed. That's the reveal for the con for me so far. I said that earlier in the beginning of the show. If you have not, it's worth watching the first 15 minutes of the show to at least get our ideas. Or you can even skip over all we did our collectibles of the week. Skip past that and just yeah. watch us talk about the GI Joes and stuff because there's a little bit of insight into how the figures were made and why they did that and why they went with a non-classic look. Obviously, Kyle had some nice insight for that. For those of you that missed the beginning of the show, okay, uh, uh, I'm taking one last look in the chat. Someone had mentioned Hot Toys and and Sideshow. They Those companies don't do Toy Fair. That's not for them. Hot Toys, the people are like, oh, I wonder what Hot Toys can do. They don't do Toy Fair. They give a shit less. They have their own cons over there. You got to remember a company like Hot Toys, their main bed, their main audience for making these things is not americans like we're we're real fucking arrogant in this country to just think like why wouldn't they make this american movie that we happen to love but they don't give a shit about in china their main focus is them and we're like their secondary market you know so keep that in mind uh so anyways with that being said we've been going longer than we fucking ever have on this damn show so it's time to wrap this, this thing up and i gotta have a cup of coffee and try to have a little bit of a night with my wife 
Everybody else has to move on with their night too. Right. Baz, it's been good talking to you. You're my best buddy. And Kyle, man, it's been Kyle, man. long. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, man. I love being here. It's cool. Yeah, to sure. You guys don't go anywhere. And as always, Rob, just a fan. What's up? I wanted to shout you out because I haven't seen you in a while and you just popped in. You said hi. So, hey, how are you? How's it going? <laughs> him. I had to mute him. <laughs> You've been <laughs> muted. <laughs> nice. And now he's still doing it, this fucking troll. All right. So, anyways, uh, thank you everybody for joining us on our Toy Fair episode. And we will catch up with you guys again next week. And um, I don't know, Kyle, you obviously you're welcome. We'll come back on. You guys don't go anywhere. We are signing off. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like the goddamn video. That really helps. If you're, guys, if, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We would love to see you on a, uh, a, you know, the further adventures of the Red Cup review. Take care, everybody. We'll see you next week. See you guys.